actually kind of a little bit intimidated by. And I'm sure for many people that have thought about building a PC for the first time, this can also be like a pretty daunting process. So fortunately, because I'm a beginner, you've built several PCs over your life and you're going to be walking me through step by step. But while we wait for the streams to come online for our Facebook and for Twitter, through YouTube, you're getting a sneak peek early. Uh, we're going to be building yep. a PC that is pretty much specced out for some 1080p gaming and just pretty much everyday tasks, right? Yes. Uh, so pretty much it's designed to one, hit the budget, which I think we set at 600 bucks. So it should definitely be under $600 PC. And oh, it good. is primarily, I spec it out to 1080p gaming. Um, and you should theoretically hit 60 plus frames for most of your games, depending on how well they're optimized. So for sure, 1080p cool. gaming. All right. all right. So this is going to be able to throw pretty much all the things that I want to do at it. It'll be able to cope. Um, we're going to run through the components in just a second when all of our streams are online. Um, because you've actually, you spec this out and as you said, it's like around under $600, but I think at the moment prices are varying a little bit. So it could be a lot less than 600 or maybe just a little bit over, but $600 is kind of a ballpark range, um, which is good because, you know, I want to save money. Um, you might remember me from a show that I actually work with Oliver on. It's called More or Less, and it's basically about cheap alternatives to big name expensive tech products. So I feel like this is like the perfect project for us too, because we get to build something that, you know, is going to be, you know, a really competent performer, but also it comes in at like a really good budget. So I'm, I'm very excited to do this and also nervous. So please go easy on me. <laughs> It'll be totally fine, Lexi. It's like, I, I hate the analogy. Was it like, it's like building Legos, you know, it's going to be super <laughs> simple. We're going to take it nice okay, and good. easy right we we talked about it it's a it's a practice of patience right oh, where i'm good. Okay. gonna try and try to be <laughs> as patient as possible uh, uh while walking you through the whole process so you know sorry. even if you get nervous even if you stumble and drop a component or two that's I'm not fine. Gonna they're drop just made anything. out of plastic I'm not, I'm not, they're I'm made not out of plastic it's fine <laughs> we'll be fine um but Okay, so we actually have a little bit of a challenge, which is going to be fun. So every time that um, you say something that I don't quite understand, you are going to take a shot of coffee because it is first thing in the morning. And um, from what I hear, a, a little birdie tells me that you are a little bit sensitive to caffeine. So yes, this I is am... either going to be a real buzz experience <laughs> for you. Or I will be probably be... Fun. I'll probably be be super buzzed. I mean, uh, I don't drink <laughs> coffee ever in the mornings. I usually just go for like cold water and that is enough to wake me up. Um, but I thought it'd be funny if I do drink like a lot of caffeine. So I had these like Mr. Browns <laughs> that I found at, uh, at the Safeway, um, which um, I guess they're Thai, Thai iced coffees. I, I don't know. Um, but I'll probably be super jittery and it'll probably make it even more difficult for me to try to walk you through all these things without like shaking and like going a little crazy. So uh, oh, hopefully I won't okay. go too crazy. Hopefully I'll be clear enough that I won't have to take too many. Um, I'll probably drink half a can uh, every time you, you tell me to, every time I'm not clear <laughs> enough with my instructions. Uh, so hopefully, and I only got six cans. So I'm not really like, going to kill myself over oh, drinking so cans? much caffeine, but you That's know. nothing. All right. Six cans. All right. So I, I hear we are live on Facebook and Twitter. So hello to everybody who's just joining us on our live stream. My name's Lexi, this is Oliver, and we are gonna be building a PC on a live stream. Now this is my first time building a PC in a very, very long time. I probably did this when I was like 15 years old for the very first time, but everything's pretty much like either the same or completely different. So consider me an absolute beginner and we wanna do this fun project or something to kind of keep you occupied during this period of time when we're all working from home. Maybe you have like a relative or a friend who wants a fun project, but you can't physically help them build a PC. So maybe you could order them all the components um, like Oliver did for me, spec it out and then do a remote call with them and help them build, them, build it live. So this is gonna be in real time. This is gonna be fun. And I am gonna 
I feel a little bit nervous <laughs> because like <laughs> the PC building is intimidating for a lot of people, myself as well. I would consider myself intimidated by all of these components, um, but it doesn't have to be. And I think that's what we want to do here is kind of like demystify a lot of the, the stuff that is around PC, yeah, PC building. Um, and, yeah. you know, I'm not an expert, absolutely not an expert. Um, Oliver has a lot of experience building PCs, but, you know, there are many different ways that you can do this. This is just one way of doing it. So, you know, this is really good for someone who is a beginner like me um, or someone who doesn't need like a real gaming workhorse because this PC is going to be spec'd out to be good for 1080p gaming and good for everyday tasks. So why don't we go through some of the components that you've chosen for this build? Because yes, I know a lot of let's stuff do it. Desk. <laughs> so I'm actually looking at our questions already, and I have two people asking me from Gaming Guru and Sawed Off, what GPU are we using? So uh, the GPU right. that we decided to pick was the 1650 Super um, from Asus, the Asus Tough Gaming OC version. Um, we picked that one because it was one of the few ones that I actually could find in stock. Um, there's another one that we had ordered that it's on its way, and it actually might show up during the stream, uh, which is the Gigabyte <laughs> yes. Radeon. Uh, RX 570. Uh, so those are the two ones. I actually like the 570 because it's actually on sale. Uh, if you go to like newegg.com, it's like 130 bucks, which even lowers the price even more of the budget build. Um, this Asus Tough gaming version of the 1650 Super uh, is uh, actually out of stock. Couldn't find it very in very many ah. places, but it is there. And it's also like at a premium too. If you do find it in stock, it's like 240 bucks or something like that. Um, but it's what we had for now until honestly, I believe during the middle of the stream, we'll probably get that delivery. So, yeah, I, you know, uh, yeah, it's going to happen the... because, um, FedEx comes at, you know, probably around like 11, 12 AM to my house. So it's 12 PM. Sorry, not AM. So I, I think if we time this out correctly, those components are going to arrive midstream. So it's going to involve racing down to, to go grab them. So a little bit of excitement for you in a live stream. Um, okay, let's uh, let's move on. So that was that was our, our GPU. So what else have we got on the desk here? Now we're in our uh, kitchen, which is an unorthodox place to build a PC, but this is the biggest space that I have, and it's everything's easily accessible. Obviously, no water is involved in any of this. I'm very very careful about all that. So um, this is just like a nice big space because you need space to build a PC, right? Like this this tower that we have here. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> so I, I would not be able to do this on my coffee table. It would be a little bit of a squish to do it on the coffee table. So that's why I've chosen to do it um, on a nice big surface. So why don't you tell us about the case? Yeah, so the case is a Fractal Design Focus G. Um, the white one that we have is actually uh, a bit overpriced right now, but if you go to like Walmart or something, I actually saw it there last night for 66 bucks. So it's a pretty decent case. Um, I did a lot of, uh, I did some pre-built testing in there. I did do this before sending it over to you, Lexi, just to be sure that everything would fit properly uh, in doing my homework Great. before just driving in and just, uh, you know, just, <laughs> just handing you a bunch of components and, like, and just be like, Great. yeah, good luck. Put it all together. You'll be fine. Uh, let's see. What nice. are my notes on it? Um, oh, for the price, it's actually one of the better uh, designed PC cases yeah. I've ran into. I've used some cheap cases before, Good and I've had this frustrating thing where the the back side of it, like the PCI uh, where the video card goes, the PCI E lanes in the back don't line up, and so I've had to like shave like right. uh, the jackets off of like HDMI cables to get them to fit in the back. Um, this case, yeah, I know, I know, but Ooh. those are like super super Ooh, bad. Uh, not so great cases that I won't mention who they are, but this one doesn't do that. It's really great. It's nice and spacious and it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty easy case for a beginner too. There's not a lot of, great. um, weird components. And I think we could use a screwdriver, just like a Phillips head screwdriver on it, um, for the whole Amazing. build That's using what this I love. case. Yeah. Love it because then you don't have to have custom tools. I mean, we have a, like, uh, this is a tech house. Let's be honest. Like I have a lot of, you know, screwdrivers and things lying around, but you know, for people that don't, it's good to know that you just need a single Phillips head for this. Um, okay, like let's look at the other components that we have here. Take a look. All right. Yep, let's so we take the a look. I want to bring you the want to do the motherboard. Up. We can do the motherboard. Yeah, right. I want to so do the motherboard the... unless you have strong feelings. Well, I want to talk about the motherboard. 
No, I don't have strong feelings. That is totally fine. Uh, so we're using a B450 board uh, from Asus, uh, the B450MA slash CSM Micro ATX AM4 board. Um, this board is 80 bucks on Newegg. Um, it has four slots of RAM and it even has an NVMe slot. Um, and it's, it's, it's a nice little board. It's a great board for beginners. Um, it does lack Wi-Fi. Uh, so if you need uh, Wi-Fi built into the motherboard, then this is probably not a board that you want to get. But it does mm -hmm. have plenty of expansion slots. So you can get a Wi-Fi card and slot it in and actually has a decent amount of USB ports on the back. So you can also get a USB dongle um, and plug that in on the back as well. So overall, right. it lacks a, a little bit of features, but pretty killer for the price. Nice. All right. And also, if you're wondering about any of the any of these components, the prices where you can get them from, they're all in the descriptions on the YouTube stream. So you can go check that out. We also have an article um, on CNET.com that also has all the details about all the components that we're using today. All right, let's move along because what do we have here? Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about the okay. CPU, right? So uh, yeah. we're using it right now, at, at this exact moment, we decided <laughs> to use a Ryzen 5 1600. Uh, which uh, is a six core, 12 thread uh, CPU that operates at 3.2 gigahertz and can boost up 3.6 gigahertz, um, which is great for running, you know, like multiple applications. Um, say if you're doing a little bit of light video editing or um, if you're even gaming and streaming at the same time, this is a pretty good CPU. But last week, AMD released the Ryzen 3 3300X um, for $120, and we expect that to arrive at Lexi's house between 11 a.m. and noon. For now, we're going to keep yes. going all the way up to the building with the Ryzen 5 1600, but if the 3300X shows up, we'll swap it uh, for two or for one reason, mainly because it has a faster clock speed. So it'll be better for gaming, right? So this is a gaming-focused okay. build. Um, even though the Ryzen 5 1600 AF is a little bit cheaper, um, it will be the 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 3300X will be much faster. It will be better. Oh, sorry, it won't be much faster. It is faster for single core performance for gaming. Okay, so we, as we know, it's going to show up in the middle of the stream, and I'm going to have done everything, and then I'm going to have to take everything apart again and put the new one in. I know that's going to happen, so uh, bear with yeah, us. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's talk about SSD and some memory here. Talk us through yep. these because. SSD, yeah. it's so tiny, it's so tiny. Yes, so the SSD is a crucial MX500. Um, right now it's 70 bucks, or at least of last night. Um, let's see, there are a lot of SSDs on the market, but from my personal experience, I'd rather spend a little bit more money and go for something named brand. Um, I mean, this is your data and your information that you're talking about. Um, I've had issues with cheaper, like $20 no name brand things from Amazon uh, SSDs uh, just dying on me. Um, so that's been pretty frustrating. So definitely for, for me anyway, my experience, um, I've been going for, you know, sort of the name brand stuff and Crucial's always had pretty decent pricing um, on their SSDs. Uh, actually, a few weeks ago when we first started talking about this, their, their NVMe drive, the P1, was actually on sale for 100 bucks, which was cheaper um, price per gigabyte than this one. Um, but it sold out immediately because it was like 100 bucks. It was super cheap for one terabyte. Um, so for 30 right. bucks, uh, right now, I believe it's, yeah, if you can find it on sale for 30 bucks more, uh, you can get the NVMe drive. But today we have the MX500, 500 gigabyte SSD. Um, and then the RAM, we're just using two sticks of eight gigabytes for a total of 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 3000 megahertz uh, RAM. We could have gone a little bit faster RAM, but it would have cost us a few more bucks. So it's trying to stay within the budget of that we set out to hit. Um, we went with the 3000 megahertz RAM. Nice. All right. Well, I mean, you know, it's only 16 gig. I'm kind of disappointed you didn't give me 32, but hey, it's all right. We've got to come under budget here, so I forgive you. And the good thing about RAM you, is that you can, you can swap it out really easily, right? It's really easy. To yes. Do and the board, it, the board does have four slots, so you can just literally buy another pack and then you can double your RAM to 32. You'll be fine, Lexi. Cool. You'll be fine. All right. I'll be fine. It'll be enough. All right. Um, this uh, chunky boy over here is the uh, power supply. This is the yeah. the heaviest uh, and the biggest component of uh, everything that I have on the desk so far, apart from the case. Um, why did we choose this one, and and what's the price on this too? 
Uh, the price on this is 70 bucks. However, it's not in stock anywhere. It's back ordered. Ah. Uh, a thing that you'll find with PC components is that um, they're very, like, especially right now during the pandemic, it's sort of very difficult to gauge what will be in stock and what won't be in stock. So it's kind of very difficult for me to sort of part out something at a specific price point, because by the time we would go live today on the stream, uh, it would be out of stock. Um, so right. <laughs> you can still order this one and it will be shipped to you in like three to four weeks. Um, and it's a it's a great little power supply. It's efficient. It's got an 80 plus gold uh, rating on it. Um, so it's a de decent little 500 watt power supply from EG EVGA. Um, and it, it's, it's fine. It'll work great for a beginner. Um, it's non-modular, cool. so it's going to have messy cables. We're going to have an octopus hanging out of it uh, with a bunch uh. of cables. But uh, that, that's okay. For the price that we're paying um you know for 70 bucks then it, it's it's what you're gonna have to get uh we did when i first <laughs> spec this out also when i was looking at this power supply all the way back in i think february it was 50 bucks in february um but then you know pandemic happened and prices skyrocketed and so. everything everything changes all right well there everything we go i'm looking changes. forward to it i'm looking forward to the octopus components because uh i have a little yes. bit of excitement all right um, okay, so that's pretty much everything that we have on the desk. Now, what should I do first? Now, obviously, I have a bunch of tools and I have some screwdrivers. I'm actually like being a camera operator at the same time. So if you see, if you come yeah. to this shot where I'm looking at you, <laughs> I'm looking at you. And then sometimes Oliver's going to switch it remotely because he, um, you know, the man with all his hands, amazing because. Um, you are actually switching live as we're doing this. I'm doing camera yes. and talking to it at the same time. So, you know, this is this is fun because like it tests my brain in many different ways. We can have like multi cameras set up and uh, also I have to talk and build a PC at the same time. No pressure. It's fine. I'm not scared no pressure. or anything like that. I've seen you. No pressure. You know, <laughs> Lexi, you're fine. You're the best. <laughs> all right so i have my tools set up okay and i have all of the components now what should we start with and uh, what should i leave on the desk and what should i clear some space for basically what are we gonna so commence our pc I, build with i think we should uh clear everything off and just start with okay. the uh with the uh with the motherboard motherboard okay great so i'll take off everything yeah. one by one now this is going to be a I'm going to talk you through Vanna White style, moving, moving the case off. Um, I do have one quick question from Julian on YouTube. He asked, why not eight gigs of video memory for the GPU? Uh, we do actually the, the Radeon RX 570 eight gigabyte, which is listed in the description um, is, is an eight gigabyte uh, VRAM card. It's just that it didn't get here in time for the stream. So that's why we're using the, um, what is it called? The 1650 super. That's all. Right. Wait, I actually do recommend yes. the, the, the RX 570 if you can order it and get it. Um, it is in stock. Uh, we just didn't order it early enough. We didn't get it in time, um, which, like I said, it'll probably end up being delivered during the stream and we'll swap it out. It will. That's it all. will, because yeah. that's, that's how of course it's going it to happen, isn't it? <laughs> that's how it is. Uh, it's going to be fun. All right. So and now we have the motherboard. OK, let me get this into position so you can see what I'm doing as we do it. Okay. So I have the motherboard now. Uh, pull it out, obviously. That would help the first. Yeah, step. so uh, there's, let's take, uh, why don't we take, well, yeah, why don't we just take the motherboard out? So you can take the motherboard out and put it right on top of the uh, box. Of the box. Great. Now, should yep. I leave all of these extra components in here? Great. You can leave them in there all for right, now. We're no. not going to use them just quite yet. Okay. I'll leave it in the box. Now, it has this cardboard on it. Now, should I be uh, delicate with, obviously delicate with the motherboard, yes, but... Um, yes. Should I be holding it in a certain way, like on the edges and things like that? Obviously, I'm not going to be touching the components right on top, right? Yeah. So you don't want to touch any of like the resistors or the capacitors. Um, theoretically, like you could shock them if you have a little bit of static shock or, or um, static buildup uh, on your on your body that you could, you know, fry a little component. Um, so the ideal way of, of grabbing the, the motherboard is from the edges. From the edges. Okay, so I should take it off yes. this cardboard and I should I put it on the box? Yep, just put it right on top of the box. Okay, move that up. All right, there we go. All right, now we have our motherboard. Oh, apologies for the <laughs> countertop being very similar in color motif to the motherboard because it's all kind of blending into one. 
but I'm, hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing uh, so you can follow along. There you go. It's like camouflage motherboard. Uh, all right. All right. Now I have it all. I have it here. Now it looks like I need to put a CPU on this, right? Yeah. So are you ready to do the, the CPU, <laughs> uh, the, the big yeah. old thing that everyone's going to be hawk-eyed in and uh here, why don't yes. we bring in the CPU? Actually, let me go to your yeah. A camera and why don't you hold up the CPU? Why don't we open up uh, that box? Okay, open it up. So with AMD processors, there are some pins that are actually on the CPU. Um, I believe with Intel yeah. processors, the pins are on the motherboard. Um, and these mm -hmm. pins, so once you pull it out, if you can see if you, maybe if you can show it to camera, maybe you take a look really quick. Um, yeah, so this is in plastic. On the now. underside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those pins on the bottom of the uh, of the CPU, you really mm -hmm. want to, uh, honestly, 100% avoid touching. You don't want to touch the underside of any CPU ever. Right. Um, but those, if, if one of those pins, you know, if they get dropped or damaged or bent, uh, your CPU could, could be ruined or fried. Just totally okay. like, you know, just go. Very careful. Very careful. All so right, very so careful. in the plastic at the moment, so I'm okay. I'm going to be yeah. very, very careful. All right, this other yep. component, this this box looks like a fan. This is a, yep. what is this, the heat sink? And that's the, the Wraith stock cooler it? that comes with the uh, Ooh, with okay. most of the Ryzen chips. Um, so we'll be using okay. a stock cooler for this build just to keep the cost down. You can always buy uh, an extra uh, cooler on top of that and, and you know replace mm -hmm. that one. Um, but that one will be just fine uh, for the budget build. It'll be all good. Okay. All, all right. right. So, moment of truth. <laughs> moment of truth. All right. So, sh okay, should so, I take the uh, CPU out of the plastic? Not, not yet. Take the plastic not yet. No? Okay. I'm getting not excited. Yet. I'm getting excited. <laughs> from skipping ahead. Okay. okay. So, let's take a close look at the CPU socket. And you might see that, that there's red. a lever. Oh, yep. Don't put your fingers on the. Uh, on the, no, on no. the uh, no. Don't worry. My finger hover wasn't hand. on it. It's just hovering. It's hovering. It's ho See? I didn't touch yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's a little lever uh, on the left side, or at least my left. That. Yeah. So yeah. you want to slide that to the left and then pull it back to unlock the socket. Slide it to the left. Uh, I need to, I think I need to move the angle so I can yeah, yeah, yeah. take his hand. Yeah. Uh, gently. There you go. Okay. Up like that. There we go. Yep. So yep. is that all, all the way back lifted up? Yep, it's supposed to yep. just sit up at 90 degrees, right? I don't yep. know if you can see thanks to the resolution. Yeah, you can, good, okay, great. Yep. And so the next step is uh, there's identifying marks. So the CPU is mostly square, right? And if you put it in on the wrong mm -hmm. side, it might, uh, it just won't work. Um, so yep. on the socket, there should be a little triangle. Do you see a triangle on the socket? Yeah. Uh, it's very small. I think it's that one. Does yes, that it right? is incredibly it's small. It is very, it's very, difficult very to small. See. And it's like, I really need to get some illumination just to double check. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a tiny triangle. I don't even know if it could show up on the camera, but there you go. I can see it. And yeah. it's just like very small indentations, right? Right. Like a very small, like recessed triangle. Cool. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. So that looks like something I need to line up, right? Yeah. So me? if you look at the chip now, there should be a gold triangle on the PCB. Uh, all right. Let's take the plastic first component off. Let's see. A gold triangle. Okay. Yeah. So I still have it in the plastic. Um, I want to come to the second camera and see if you can. Yep. It's that one there. Right? So actually flip it over to the front. Sorry. I should take a half a shot for that. Wasn't clear. Take a shot. On the front. Take a shot. Okay. Half a shot. I'm doing it. <laughs> take a shot of coffee. If you've just joined us, every time that um, Oliver doesn't give me a complete instruction and uh, I don't do the right thing, as a result, he gets to take a shot of caffeine. There we go. Here, All hold right. on. I Let found me go to my the, uh, really I found the gold triangle. <laughs> so okay, we can gold see camera. Hold on. Just so everyone knows that I'm actually doing it. Here, I'll do the switch. <laughs> Oh, wow. You're really going for it. I thought you were just going to take a little sip. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nope. We are. We're gonna nope, nope, nope. Well, <laughs> no, I said I was going to do. <laughs> no, no, no. It's half of the can. Too good. 
half of the can. Uh, I'm, I'm in, ready. In, Focused. In what world is that a shot? Like, in what world is like a half a can of coffee a shot? I'm sorry. A, it just it's, isn't. It's a but half I a love shot of I, coffee. I love your determination and uh, I love that you really just go hard or go home with this challenge. So thank you. 100%. Um, go 100. I have to decide I have to decide if I'm going to be cool and kind of deliberately mishear things that you say <laughs> so you can take more shots or no I won't. I promise. I'll be Please good. don't because I already feel it. Like I'm <laughs> literally starting to feel the camera. I really I already feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, not ready okay. for this. Okay. Back <laughs> Me either. Oh All right, back back to the chip. Okay. Uh so okay. you see the triangle on the front? Yep, I see that. So that needs to line okay. up with the, this one. Okay. Exactly. Oh, outside of the and plastic, so, obviously. Yeah. So when you open the plastic, uh you're gonna want to carefully uh -huh. grab the chip and you're just gonna want to drop it straight into uh the socket and, and try to line up yep. the uh the, the pins uh, with the socket holes all right but just really gently so i should grab it around the edges and don't touch any of yeah the so it actually has like a little uh like the plastic has like a little uh like indentation These for your fingers things on the side yeah yes got it so you're going to pick it sh straight up straight up okay Right down, and it should fall in. So, is it? Uh, did it? Could it? Your hand was covering it. Did it? Did it? Uh, yeah. Fall into the slot? Uh, okay. No. There you no. go. It fell in just then. There yeah, we go. It did. Okay. It did just then. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So, uh, cool. one right. quick test to do is to just uh, yeah. put your finger right over it and just sort of uh, don't push down, but just no, jiggle it. Just like... So make sure that the chip doesn't slide off or, or move out of the uh, slot it looks like it's in very good it's yeah yep okay yeah. so that looks pretty so I, now we just yeah, I, very very gently okay this comes yeah down. so now we just lock it yep so pull that pull the lever down do i need to push it in like that is that it there you go yep and it's locked cool oh sweet that's okay. it uh that was so yeah it felt like surgery <laughs> <laughs> I was shaking. Her head was shaking, but um, okay, I think we did it. All right, all right. You Oof. did great. I mean, that was the the most dangerous, possibly the most expensive part of the whole thing, right? If you damaged a pin or if you dropped it wrong, yeah. Uh, that that that's it. Uh, from now on, okay. Uh, mostly easy, smooth yeah. sailing. That should be mostly. Okay, good. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't uh, damage anything putting it in. We'll soon no, find no. out. <laughs> uh, we'll find okay. out soon. Uh, um, all right, here we go. Okay, before okay. moving on to the cool, or you want to do the cooler now? No, you tell me because uh, I'm the beginner and you are instructing me on um, the best way for me to do this. So um, I, maybe someone else would not do the cooler now, or maybe they would. What do you think you I should do? You can do the cooler now. Because I'm doesn't, in your very matter. capable hands. You you tell me because I I don't know how I'm how to do this. This is my first time, so you need to help me through let's, it. Let's do the cooler. You already unboxed it. Yeah? It's right okay. next to you. That way we can get the I box mean, out the way. We can be finished with right the cooler. Right here. I'm excited to do this. Okay. Uh, okay. So cooler. Okay. So here let's let's uh, we have to caveat this. So that cooler yeah. uh, I I've used uh -huh. um, with that CPU for another build in a different test. So. Uh -oh. The You're coolers, when they come out of the box, <laughs> it is secondhand. I'm sorry. It's cheaper that way. Aww. You can find it cheaper, you know. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so, uh, so yeah. when they come out of the so, box, you were saying it, it wouldn't normally look like this because of the other no, no, stuff will. on it? No, no, it will. It will look like that. It will. But okay. if you lift it up out of the box and look at it uh, on the underside, um, there will be no yep. thermal compound or thermal paste. Okay. So that's the, so. This is the stage where, yeah, if it's new, it will have thermal paste automatically there for you, so you don't have to yeah. apply it yourself. But because yeah. this is a secondhand part that you've used previously, I'm going to have to put thermal paste on the CPU before I put this on. Yes. Okay. Yes. And there's okay. actually something <laughs> else you need to do before that. Okay, there's, well, there's what something else you need to do before, before, before I get the thermal paste ready. Yeah. So um, do why don't you do? uh, pull the cooler out of the box to see? look at the mounting mechanism. Okay. Is there any, I can just lift it out like so? Yep. Okay. 
So should I flip it? Do you want to see the mounting on the other side? I'm not touching anything on yeah. the bottom. Yeah. So if okay. you notice on the underside, you see there's no pre-applied thermal paste. Um, it's yes. bare. It's clean. I've cleaned it uh, mostly well. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's a little dirty, but I cleaned it mostly well. Um, you may notice that for this mounting mechanism of the uh, for the cooler, uh, it uses four screws. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, that means we need to take the screws out of the motherboard. Ah. Okay. So are these, I'm yeah. assuming these ones, these four here. Okay. Yep. So right. those clips right. that are already on there are for uh, a different uh, AMD cooler. Okay. Uh, a, a one that's inferior in my opinion. Um, these screws are much better or these screw, screw mounting right. uh, mechanisms are much better than the clip mechanisms. I see. All right. Well, so then that means I have to get my tool kit out. All right, let's see. Oh, look how many. I've got so many. Uh, let me just want to show you how many options that I have to choose from here. Yeah. <laughs> look, uh, this is kind of intimidating because this is my kit here, and this is the one that you gave me. Now, uh, it looks like a fairly, it's not a tiny Phillips head. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's a fairly decent size it's, one. Uh, I believe uh, it's a number one. Number one. Oh, they have them written. Okay, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Don't know if you can see, because uh, I only just managed to see the writing because it's so dark. Here we go. I don't know if it's going to be yeah, picked up. Yeah, that's number one, I think right? The bit rate, that one. Yep, that's number one. I think the bit rate's yeah. a little low that we don't see the details, but uh, for yeah. those of you, that's okay. you at home, um, it, it says one. Who, promise us. I promise. It says one. Okay, <laughs> I promise. It says one. Okay, so I got my I got my number one in the uh in the screwdriver okay so now i just need to take the screws out yep so you just want to unscrew them all right i'm doing the right thing right this is the right one that i should be taking out first one yep yep okay gently Ooh. now is this a magnetized screwdriver Hope so. it should be but the magnet was a little weak last time i used it uh yeah it's not i don't think it's gonna not super great Oh yeah, no, I did it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. All right, yeah, now, yeah. let me put this in a in a little container because um, little secret about me, I'm messy, and uh, I lose things frequently. So this is definitely a situation where I need to be very organized um, and very methodical. So that's why I have like a little container, and uh, I'm not going to rush this because I want to make sure that we get this hopefully working first time and uh, I don't lose anything. Woo. Okay. So now I took that out. Now this component is wobbling a little bit. Is that okay? Yep. So you can pull the plastic right yep. off now. This entire thing, the black yep. thing entirely. Okay. Yep. It is. It should oh, be super okay. loose. Yep. Yep. It is. Yep. Cool. Yep. Woo. Okay. Uh, You're doing great. Lexi. Now, uh, Thank you. Now talk amongst yourselves because uh, this is a, I don't know how exciting it is watching me take screws out of a motherboard. <laughs> Maybe it is exciting. Maybe this is like a new genre of uh, ASMR, except I don't know if you can really hear too well through the earbuds. No, it doesn't sound super ASMR-y, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I can't answer a question quite... though. Someone wanted to know. Great. Uh, Mal Malachi? From YouTube wanted to know how many PCIe slots the motherboard had has. Um, it has one has... 16 X slot X slots, Jesus. And then uh, two, <laughs> I believe there is that four or that's eight. A, that's a PCI slots. there, right? I can... Yeah, so that's one that's the one oh, for the for the uh, for the uh, video card. <laughs> and then the other ah, two okay, smaller yeah. ones could be for any sort of expansion. Yep. Yeah, got it. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's nice that it's all labeled too, which I appreciate. Especially if you're is it labeled to it on the on the like board? Me. Yeah, it says PCI um, EX1 on this one, and then this one EX1 under dash one and under dash two. Yeah, so it is labeled. That's great. I like that. So then I have some um, reference point when you say all these things, and I'm like, I yeah. know what this means, but I don't know where it's located. So it's like a bit of a treasure map for me, which is good. I appreciate that. Okay, so. Now I have the screws taken um, out and I take, I've taken these plastic mounts out. <sighs> cooler okay. type? Uh, what? Cooler type? Cooler type? Um, almost. 
I want to just show something to some people that may. So okay. if you lift up the board, um, what we unscrewed is actually there's a back plate. Uh huh. So go ahead, lift you it up. To, you want to show? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to show the back plate. So it's actually on the cardboard box. If you look on the cardboard, just move the motherboard out the way. Yeah. Ah! Wow! Yeah, it's yeah. like magic. It's, okay, so you want yeah. to move that away? No, we're going to use that. Move I just it. want people to know that there oh. is a back plate there. And okay. I just wanted to show it off. That's what that um, and so, so that's what happened when I unscrewed, right? Yep. And so the CPU cooler mm -hmm. will screw into those holes that you unscrewed. Um, so like I said, if you lift up the motherboard, you're moving around or something, there is a, bla a back yep. plate there. Just okay. be aware of it. So it. you can put yeah, it back it, into, it's a into the... Uh, yes. It was a surprise to me because I was like, oh, there is a, there's a component there. I wasn't expecting. Okay. And then some, if you buy a third party nicely. cooler, um, they sometimes uh -huh. have their own back plate. So, okay. you know, depending on what you buy, you may have to remove that one or get a different back plate. They come in the Got box. It. So Got it. With okay. the clear instructions. Okay, all in the box. That's what I like to hear. I love it when it's all in the box and it's all provided, which is very helpful. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that, so now, I've seen the back plate. I've repositioned it all. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to, so now you can add the thermal paste. Okay. And this guy do about a bead of rice. Yep. And I'm not going to show uh, it on stream okay. because mm. uh, y'all are mean sometimes. So we're not going to show it. People, people get mean about it. Okay. Uh, just a bead of rice. All right. So is there, so help me with the uh, actual paste container. Do I need to take this little, this is a lid. Yeah. So that, that, that off. screws off. Okay. That screws off. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's really tight. This is going to be the challenge is getting this off. Uh, I can see there's a thread, so that's the thing. I'm not oh, very it, strong get, when it comes uh, to it get... It's a little, yeah, let me grab a heat towel so I can get a little bit more leverage on it. <clears throat> see, that's what happens all the time in my kitchen. Jars, things that are difficult to get off. Yeah, I have to always bring out the reinforcements. This heat towel always helps. Here we go. While you work on that, uh... Saurav of YouTube okay. wants to know, are we doing the Windows installation during the stream? Yes, we will yeah, go all the way yeah, into baby. Windows. We're going all the way into Windows. Yeah, uh, provided that it works when we turn it on, that is. <laughs> it's going to work. So, it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you have faith in me. Thank you. So um, should I just squeeze out a little bit just to make sure that it's the right consistency, like onto a paper towel or something, or should I just go for it? What do you think? Oh, no, no, it should be good. That uh, That's a new bottle okay. or a new syringe of, of thermal paste. It, it should be good to go. All right, so just like a, a bead of rice, right? Yeah, Bring like a rice. bead of rice or a little blob, you know. Um, for those of you who are really interested in the appropriate way of applying thermal paste, um, it, Steve Burke of Gamers Nexus actually did, uh, on YouTube, did an extensive breakdown on how applications of thermal paste affect thermals. Um, so right. check out his channel, it's super smart dude, super, uh, yeah, super smart dude. Um, and he did a whole article and a, a whole video on how you should apply thermal paste. Check out his video. Love it. He, 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 he went through the whole thing, you know, doing the X or like a big blob or like scooping on like oh, a wow. whole bunch onto, this, onto the thing. Um, Turns out it really didn't matter too much. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. Don't spoil um, the video. Yeah, people want to go watch it. <laughs> after the stream, go well, watch like it. A, and I will definitely watch it as well. After but... the stream, go watch it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So <laughs> let's, let's, uh, okay. let's do the cooler now. All right. So I have that my little, uh, my small uh, grain of rice shaped thing. Okay. Now you're not going to. Yes. So is there a particular configuration in which I need to like align the logo or anything like that? of the cooler not not really there i believe there is a way that you can rotate the logo so it does it fits two ways right it's not a complete okay. square so it either fits yeah. like this way or you rotate it the other way but it fits both ways um it depends if you want to cable manage and uh hide that little cable that's coming off of it the fan uh connector yeah. cable uh, uh -huh. but it really doesn't matter uh okay. the, the logo isn't going to be right side up either way unfortunately Oh, that's a shame. All right. Well, as long yeah. as uh, I'm, I'm putting it in, you, yeah, you tell me. So if I just put it straight down with the uh, 
the even though that doesn't matter which way the logo is going if i put it straight down with the um in the configuration that i have is that going to work it looks like it's going to fit it it, sh it should yeah yeah yeah. it looks if, as yeah. long as the screws line up then you should be good um do you mind uh, well, I, rotating I your so. b cam a little bit yeah, yeah. okay go. so i'm going to switch now is i'm that... waiting for you to yep that looks good i'm waiting for you to hide it? the your thermal place application <laughs> I didn't do that bad of a job. Trust me. It's totally. No, it looked great. It's only it a looked, small amount. It looked legit. It's only a small amount. Okay, good. So you want to go straight uh, right, down so... and you don't want to like jiggle it at all as you bring the, the cooler down. Don't want to jiggle it at all. Yeah. This is the hard part. I don't know. I oh, do don't this. reveal the thermal paste. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And align. Okay. No, no jiggling. That was just my shaky hand. No hands. jiggling? So, okay. Yeah, there was no jiggling. It was just me going, oh, am I putting it down right? Okay. All right. So everything, it's sort of, it's sitting in, sitting in properly. Yep. Hopefully. So this um, is going to require same... a little bit of force and torque okay. to screw in these uh, screws into the back plate. Uh, All right. So you're going to, and, and you're going to want to go in an X pattern. So you don't want to go like yes. top left, bottom left. So not right bottom, so basically not top. not how I undid the you know how I undid the screws. It was like a sort of a clockwise yeah, yeah. Of thing. I should do like one, two, three, four sort of thing. Yep, yep. You want to be able to okay. apply even pressure um, as you screw yep. down the cooler. Okay, and the same number one Phillips head. Is that good for yep. this? Yep, same number one Phillips head. Like Phillips be. head should fit. Okay, so I need to. You might Should have to I put your hand down? over the cooler to steady it. Yeah. Yeah. And you might have to apply a little bit of pressure. There are springs on the screws that um, hold the tension down um, to keep yeah. the cooler attached to the CPU uh, for optimum cooling. Optimum cooling. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And it's going to not sound great. They're like you're going to hear the springs sort of compressing. Yeah. It's gonna... it, it, ooh. I don't know yeah. I know. It up, but it sounds. Oh. It does sound like, oh, it sounds it's bad. Like creaking. Yeah, it does sound bad. Yeah. Uh, someone wants to know, Jaredaya wants to know if we'll be installing Windows 10 or Windows 10 Pro, uh, whatever you want. Our, our media installation what, has Windows 10 want? and Windows 10 Pro on it. Yeah, whatever you'd like. So whatever you like. we'll probably do Windows 10 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Frank wants to know how long does it typically typically take to build a PC? I haven't built my own yet. Uh, the the more you do it, the easier it will get. Uh, usually, my uh, builds take about an hour. You know, depending on how right. complex the, uh, the 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 case is and how many components you have. Um, we expect this stream to take about two hours, so we're going all the way up to uh, about noon. Um, and that's only because we're going really slow and methodical and making sure that, um, you know, everything is done in a way that someone else can watch the stream and then build their own PC as, as they go along. So okay. an hour to two hours, maybe three hours. My, my very first build, like the very, very first one I did probably took me four or five hours because I was going through different YouTube videos and finding different yeah. um, tutorials on how to do it. Uh, so it took me like oh, a good... <laughs> like a full Saturday to do the whole thing. A full, uh, yeah. So, all right. You know, I should. What I should have done. A weekend around is, it. I should Not have bad. Come down. Yeah. I should have come down to look on the side here to see, make sure it was screwing in. There we go. Because I realized I didn't think it was catching properly. I oh was, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Too, it's um, because I was the... being too gingerly with it. You know, I was like, yeah, you know, I was like. Super delicate. No, you got to have a bit of force with this. As I yeah. can tell. So now. unfortunately, right, this is this side. is one of the the more scary parts. It's you really got to push it is down. Scary. Uh, and and there are springs pushing back at you, but those are tension springs, so you need to you know kind of fight it, force it down. I wouldn't wouldn't push down too yeah. hard, like you're like trying to like too much stab it or anything. Much? You know. Yeah. I mean, it'll stop turning. You know. <laughs> But yeah, you want to keep going. Okay. You can. Um, I would keep going in an X pattern uh, as you slowly screw yeah. everything down, so just to I, keep I the tension I equal. Did. Yes, I did make. Um, so I realized that I was doing the X, and then I needed to put more pressure on 
because one of them didn't catch properly. So I'm trying to mm. even things out mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So that was my bad. Um, okay. Make sure. That Does that mean I need to take a coffee shot or? No, that's, it's not, that was actually my fault. I think not yours. <laughs> you can take one on okay. my behalf if you want, but I think you're good. Okay. So. Uh, now, I um... will. Maybe I need to be more jittery. Oh, go ahead. I'll just drink water. <laughs> uh, okay. So now, um, let's see. We're looking pretty, pretty firm. Is there like a good test? Like a, obviously it shouldn't jiggle. <laughs> Uh, but um, there is how a test tight should I that, lock these down? Uh, I would say until the until screws they don't stop screw? turning. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's really quite quite a lot. Yeah. There is going to be a lot of pressure at this point, uh, mainly because of the – you really need to have uh, contact between the IHS of the, of the CPU and the, uh, and the heat sink of the, of the cooler. Um, the thermal paste yeah. there is just there to fill in any, any imperfections in the metal. Uh, so mm-hmm. yeah, it's going to be a lot of tension. It's spreading the thermal paste throughout the entire top of the chip. Um, hopefully if you yeah. didn't apply a lot, shouldn't be oozing out the sides. No, um, but it, there easy. is a lot. No, no, you, you, I, I saw no. your, 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 your application was, was top notch. So you're good. Good. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I've tightened it until they're like, yeah, they're solid now. Um, and there's no, like, they're pretty much reached the you know, the extent of how much I can tighten them without me worrying that I'm going to break a thread or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it looks pretty firm. Um, apart from, yeah, I just, I realized that I was trying the, the cross and then it wasn't seated. So I tried the cross again and it's, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. You're good. But this You're is good. all stuff Lexi, that like beginners, good. but like, as I was saying, like, this is a beginner's build. This is stuff that beginners, people that have never built a PC before are probably going to have the same sort of issues. So um, it's really good that, you know, we're walking through. So, uh, you know, you can get an idea of like what you should be doing as best as possible. And, you know, yeah. we're all going to make like little mistakes here and there, but hopefully nothing is going to be kind of like a deal breaker. Um, fingers crossed anyway. <laughs> so, you're, you're, I mean, everything's okay. great. You haven't broken anything. Right. It sounds like you're already apologizing for breaking something that you haven't even done. No, no, <laughs> it's just because, uh, because I think the, the difficulty with putting the, the cooler in is that, for me it's the sound of the springs and the tension it's kind of working out that um the threshold that you have basically between how much pressure you need to apply the sound which is kind of the audio feedback it's kind of like oh i'm breaking something but it's actually the spring as you say and then you've got to push it down probably harder than you think and i'm kind of gentle with this stuff so actually this is where i needed to put more force down so um rather than just being gentle and delicate like we were with the CPU. This one is a little bit more like, all right, let's put some pressure on. So it's kind of interesting. A little bit of juxtaposition, you know, a little bit of juxtaposition between the gentle with the uh, CPU and then some force with the, with the cooler. Okay. I mean, in general, everything should fit. Yeah. You feel good about it? Yeah. I feel really good about it. This is, this is looking good. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of myself so far. I'm done now. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, all right, guys. Thanks Just for watching. Kidding. We'll see. No. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, love you all. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm gonna just be good and rebox, um, rebox bits and pieces, just so we keep everything yeah. in a nice order. Uh, yeah, oh, this would be a good time to clean everything up. Uh, clean everything that yeah. you, you've used up so far. So um, uh-huh. the plastic uh, clips and the screws that you took out of the motherboard, um, we're yes. not using those, obviously. Uh, okay, those, those so are they done. can So we can set a... those aside. No, a little container yeah. so I don't lose them. Perfect. Oh, it fits so neatly. There we go. Okay, so they're set aside. We don't need those. We don't need the boxes anymore. We can just seal that up again. Perfect. Oh, I see. Oh, reboxing is one of those things that I'm not particularly good at. It's a very uh, distinct skill, and I have so much love and respect for people that can rebox things in a way that looks like they're factory fresh, which is actually what you did, Oliver. I have to say, big props to you because <laughs> you were able to rebox things in a way that made it look like they were brand new. I mean, they are brand new, most of the parts, but the fact that you made it look like they'd just been delivered was very, very nice. 
Okay. I'm a, I'm a box hoarder. I, I, I hoard so many boxes. Yeah. I mean, you, you and my girlfriend people, right? had a discussion mm -hmm. about this. You know, we, we had to talk yeah. about how I just keep all the boxes for all the components, which is a good practice to do because in case any yeah. of your components right. fail, you can put them back and then ship them, ship them back to the manufacturer and uh, mm -hmm. get them RMA, you know, so you get a refund, yeah. repair it or whatever. So I keep all my boxes. Uh, yeah, Sorry. or if you want to just mountains and mountains of boxes right now, in my closet. You know. Yeah, if you <sighs> want to resell it, it's good yeah. to have that. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll promise we're not sending your own application to the hoarders show. Promise. No, not yet anyway. Maybe when the quarantine's over, we'll get on to that. But yeah. just kidding. <laughs> uh, All right. Um, so fill in, fill we've in, been, please, we're, we're 50 this... minutes in. Do you want to, should we do a... Uh... <laughs> Should we do a little recap or, I mean, actually, you know yeah, what, let's finish absolutely. the RAM. Let's, oh. let's do the RAM and then oh, we'll do, we'll do the, a quick we'll do recap. The RAM? Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Or actually, so there, we're, we're still our... actually not done with the cooler. There's, there's a problem with the oh, cooler oh. still. Can, do, you, uh -oh. do, you, do you see it? Well, this needs to be attached somewhere. Yeah, right? exactly. Yep. Okay. So um, this um, board conveniently has everything labeled. So um, oh, on okay. the AMD, logo side next to the ram slots on the top yep. right uh there yep. should be a, a little connector that says cpu fan cpu fan that one i can see that one yep yeah so that so one you just want to plug there. that now in is, there's a, a set way for it to go yes there is there is now there is. is it so all right is, if it goes sh should it go over no it won't go under is it all right if it goes like that yeah, it's all right if it goes like that. Um, you could, if you could wrap it around and try to hide, you know, the cable. If it doesn't reach, uh, it it's doesn't not reach. reach because I, I didn't mount it in a way that it would reach. I didn't realize that was where it was going yeah. to go. Um, yeah. So, is that all right? That's okay. I do it like that? That's all right. Okay. That's totally fine. First time builder is totally fine. We are going to try to do a little bit of cable management. Try to keep everything clean, uh, in the case yeah, for definitely. our build today. So I would like to keep things neat because I'm not a neat person. So this is a real challenge and a real test of patience and also my ability to keep things nice and neat. Okay. So we have plugged that in. It goes only in one way and it straight down. Yeah. Didn't bend anything. I Do hope. you want to talk <laughs> about the, the plastic, the plastic clip that you uh, encountered making it fit only one way? Yes, definitely. So um, there was like a little, uh, I guess, kind of an indentation. Um, so that indicated that it would only fit one way. So that was kind of nice to let me know. And when I was pushing it down, there was no real resistance. It went in pretty smoothly. So that was a good indication that it went in the right way, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. And then um, if you have a board that doesn't have labels on it, um, your the user manual in the motherboard uh, box will have oh, perfect. everything yes. labeled in there uh we're not using Perfect. it today uh i mean we might consult it a little bit later hopefully not mm -hmm. hopefully my notes are good enough that we won't need to um <laughs> well but... you read the instructions i mean i i normally this is this is good you know it's good sunday reading good to know i mean yes consult the manual if in doubt fortunately yes. I, ha I know the man for the task and he's read the instruction manual for me and knows his way around a motherboard. Yay! Okay, perfect. All right, so uh, let's recap for everyone who's just joined the stream. Um, my name is Lexi, and I am building a PC for the very first time. I'm pretty much a total beginner at this. I mean, I built like a PC when I was 15, but you know, a lot has changed in that time, and I haven't done any kind of PC build since then. So effectively, I am I'm a beginner. This is the first time for me, and. Oliver, super producer, is joining me. He has built many a PC in his spare time and he is walking me through, say hello. He's walking hello. me through live on the stream. And this is pretty much a fairly beginner's PC. It's, it's spec'd out, Oliver did all the hard work in terms of specking it out and bringing me the components through a uh, contact-free uh, social distanced delivery that um it's you know all around six hundred dollars or under although the prices of the components can vary especially given the current climate that we're in um so you know this is not a massive gaming workout workhorse is not really going to be 
um, suited for people that want like a really intense gaming PC. But if you do want something like that, I highly recommend you go check out Oliver's done a really cool PC build of um, a much more intense gaming workhorse than this one. It's over on the How to Do It All channel on CNET. Um, just type in how to do it all PC build on YouTube and you should be able to find it. So that's something for people that want a bit more of an intense machine than the one that we are building. But I think this one is pretty much stepped out to everything that I want. Some 1080p gaming that's going to be good for photo editing, maybe some light video editing as well. I don't know, 4K, maybe it's not suited for 4K. Uh, I, I, I would Do you think I I'll be okay or not? No. Wouldn't I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't push it to 4k wouldn't 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 push okay. it i mean it'll work it'll just be really <laughs> slow and clunky it's not going to crash though it yeah definitely I, I don't expect it okay. to crash during 4k but it won't be the smoothest 4k editing experience not 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 at all got it actually got it okay so that's the recap of where we are um if you have any questions for us you can drop them into the live chat and we'll answer some of them as we go along but yeah i hope you're enjoying the stream so far i'm having a lot of fun i'm a little nervous but I think that's probably common for a lot of people that are building a PC for the first time. And this is like a fun project that we thought it would be really cool to do if you are, you know, at home, um, that you want to be able to help like friends or family remotely build a PC. This is maybe something that you could help them through and walk them through. And, you know, Oliver's doing a great job. And the thing is, though, the challenge that I have set for him is that every time that he does or says something and I don't quite understand the instruction, um, he is going to take a shot of coffee and that could either be because I misinterpreted it or he didn't explain it in the way that I could understand it because I'm a beginner. I don't know. He's done a pretty good job. He's only had one shot so far. So uh, I so far. round of applause. I feel like I should so have far, taken a shot for well. the, the CPU, but uh, it's fine. I I still feel, no. feel like jittery from the first one. So it, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'm worried about, like, I think we're fine, but I'm worried about when we get into the case because they're like, holes everywhere and yeah. there's like different places to put things and i'm just like right. please focus focus <laughs> exactly there's a lot of, i i know the, the case is probably for me uh, one of the most intimidating things because you know there's it's a it's a large enough case but it's just like there's a certain order in which things need to go in and cable management is something that i'm also concerned about because i'm very messy and so organizing cables and stuff is is important for me because it's that's the real challenge i think for me because you know when i did it many moons ago i was like yeah that's fine the cables can sit there but that's yeah that's not good i'm going to run into a lot of trouble like longer term if i don't manage the cables properly i know that much as a beginner so that i think it's going to be the big challenge but anyway we have the motherboard we have the the chip and the cooler all installed now what is my next step uh, let's put the RAM in. Should we do that? Yeah. Okay. That's right. The RAM. That's right. All right. Uh, while you're this off, there's fun. a couple of questions that I just want to answer really quick. A bunch just came in. Yes. Uh, Todd do. from YouTube was, uh, he was wondering if the board is already flashed, uh, for the new 3300X. Yes. Um, we don't know though, if it will support the 4000 series, um, AMD chips. AMD last week um, said that initially the B450 boards wouldn't uh, take the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, fourth or 4000 series AMD CPUs. Um, I reached out to uh, Asus. They haven't gone back to me yet. Hopefully it will be because if it does, then that's actually kind of an awesome board to have now, especially for 85 bucks and you can take it all the way up to 4000 series, um, you know, CPUs that don't even exist yet or aren't available mm -hmm. yet. Um, that'd be a great um Bye. And then uh, Sarov is asking why our graphics card is an AMD one over uh, an NVIDIA one. Uh, th there is no reasoning uh, at this price point. It's essentially whatever you can find in stock. So the pandemic has been uh, really wrecking havoc on availability on some components. Um, and so we have uh, one listed in the in the description and the one that Lexi has in hand is is a different are there different cpus or i'm sorry uh, gpus yes. um so we're just going with what's in stock um the one in the description is the what is it called it is the rx 578 gigabytes um which is on sale uh, at newegg um but what we had is... on hand uh which is a similar price if you can find it um was the uh 1650 super um from nvidia yeah. so really at this price point you're just like we're trying to stay under a 600 dollars budget so we're just sort of picking and choosing parts that are available 
um, and what we had on hand. Uh, and and that's that's pretty much it for me right now. There's another question, but I have to cool. look. It's like it's off the dock. I can't read it. Anyway, uh, let's do RAM. Let's let's let's, take <clears> let's right do RAM. Okay. So, um, all right. Now, the number of spots that we have here. What are the uh, the ones, the correct ones that I should be installing in? Because there's two gray, two black. Now. Yes. So for RAM, uh, you don't want to install RAM on two slots next to each other. Um, this board has, you know, this, these chipsets have a uh, dual channel memory. Um, and that means mm -hmm. that it can access both RAM sticks uh, at the same time uh, okay. to make it faster. The, the, this board is nice because it actually has alternating colors. Um, and right. I actually looked it up for the one that we're using uh, slots, uh, what is it? A1, A2, or A, B1, B2, um, I believe mm -hmm. are the gray ones, is the ones that we should okay. be installing our RAM into. That's good, because it would have been a difficult proposition, there because the cooler is uh, positioned in the way that it wouldn't oh, let me access the... Oh, is it in the way? The, uh... mm -hmm. It is. Uh-oh. Did you well, tell me to do it in the room? To... <laughs> <laughs> good thing we didn't need to access that one. Oh, See, do I need to take a shot for that? I think you need to take a shot for that one because uh, you, you were like, hey, that's okay. You can put it in that way. It's fine. And I did. No, it's totally fine because if we need to use the gray ones, it's totally fine. There we go. Chug, chug. <laughs> All right. If you've just joined us, then uh, Oliver is taking a shot of coffee for every time that uh, we have a direction that is it's right it's still right it's just uh probably not optimal if you needed to use that slot because i would have involved me having to take the whole thing out again and reseating the cooler correct uh, yes if i wanted to use that slot. so mm -hmm. yeah you would have to you'd have to take that off you'd have to clean off all the uh thermal compounds the thermal it would have been a yeah. whole mess okay but we're good there will be enough clearance here if i use the gray one correct yep Yep, and that is the one cool. that we should okay. be using. Um, check your Amazing. motherboard manual. It'll tell you uh, which slots to put it in when you're using one con one, sl uh, one RAM stick configuration, mm -hmm. two RAM sticks configuration, or four sticks configuration. Um, Great. But we're using the gray ones. Uh, we're using two eight gigabyte sticks for a total of 16 gigs. Uh, mm -hmm. The way to install the RAM is uh, if you look closely at the motherboard, there's a notch right in the middle of the RAM yeah. slot. Let me mm -hmm. go full screen here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So there's some the notches notch. there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And All then right. the ballistics. See that. And there should be a notch. notch. Yes, there is a yeah. notch. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if the uh, minimum focusing distance is a little too close on this camera. You can see that see there it. is a notch, even if it's out of focus. Okay. So there's a there's a certain way that it goes in. So I believe it's that way. All right. So now these uh, these plugs. I mean, well, basically these you know, notches. So this side. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this side um, unlocks the, and then this side is static, correct? Yes. Yep. Oh, interesting. Is, okay. Uh... So last time, you know, last time I did this, the um, they both clicked in. This was many moons ago. So a lot of stuff has changed. Last time I changed RAM in my old computer. So, um, okay, so it looks like when I slot it in, is it automatically going to click in? So you want uh, to go straight, no, you want to go straight, straight down, down uh, and go evenly yep. on both sides. Uh huh. And you should use a little bit of force and you should hear it click yep. and lock into place so on both push, sides. Push actually. down on yep. both sides. Yep. Okay, I heard a, it clicked, solid in. Okay. It's not moving. Okay, cool. I do the same with the other one. Other yep. Side. And while you do that, I'm going to answer two questions. Brent is asking, is there okay. a part list for what you have, uh, for what you are building uh, on from Facebook? Um, if you're on Facebook, there I don't believe there's a part list in the description of that uh -oh. video. If you go to, well, there's a, two places where you can actually find that information. You can either go to um, cnet.com um, and on there we have a, a, an article for this build that has the part list on it or on our YouTube channel the description of the YouTube channel has that part list um, of what we have. 
Uh, Joe Pacino says that the fan, shr fan shroud with the AMD logo will interfere with the RAM stick closest to the cooler if it is ever populated. Uh, yes, we figured okay. that. My bad. Yeah. Took a shot for that already. <laughs> so we got that sorted. Um, and that is true of third party coolers as well. Um, sometimes they get a little big um, and there are some RAM clearance issues. They do sell RAM that mm -hmm. is a, a shorter height um, that fits mm. under some coolers. Sometimes some coolers are just so big that they just take up the slot. It happens. It depends yeah. on, on the, 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 the manufacturer of the board, right? Like how close they put it to the cooler. It right. happens. So if I was in an ideal world, uh, if we did this again, would I just orient it uh, the other way around to have the, uh, the logo and the, in the notch over this side? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, pretty, we're not in an ideal world as we know. So, uh, right. You know, it's still, it's still going to be fine. It's we still good. We, we haven't messed exactly. up completely. It's been fine. No, we didn't mess up at all. This is just a different orientation. I mean, yeah, we'd be in trouble if we needed to use the first slot. But fortunately, we don't. And anyway, as we said, uh, we're waiting on the new AMD chip, which uh, may arrive during this broadcast. And if that's the case, I'm going to take everything out and put that one in instead <laughs> because um, <laughs> that's the brand new one. And then we can fix the seating issue um, if we wanted to. So there you go. I mean, the great thing about this is that, you know, there's no one right way to do it. I mean, there's like a lot of things that you can do incorrectly. But I mean, you know, I think it all depends on the configuration that you have, right? We can be flexible about it. And, you know, one way to do it is not necessarily the way someone else would build it either, correct? Yes, although they might argue yeah. that their way is the right way and your is way the is the wrong course, way. Yeah. But... Absolutely. I respect that completely. But for now, <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing the Oliver method, um, which, is, which is this. Oh, no. I'm, I'm pleased with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks good. I, it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the, with the progress so far. Okay, uh, so now we have, we have everything seated. We have the RAM in. Uh, doesn't jiggle. Nicely seated. Installing RAM is one of life's small pleasures that I really enjoy, um, I have to say. It's the one thing that I used to do a, a lot when I was, um, you know, back in my days when I was tinkering inside PCs, uh, which is a very, very long time ago. But I did enjoy swapping out RAM because it was the easiest way to give my uh, pre-bought PC at that time a little bit of a performance boost. So there you go. Yep. Um, and to the archives. All right. Now we have this all seated and all set. Uh, what is my next step? I think, I think it might be time to go to the case. We can set aside uh -oh. the motherboard with the CPU and the RAM. We can put that somewhere else okay. uh, and put we can aside. start heading yeah. into the case. All right, I'm gonna put that on the side. Let's move these components here. All right. How is everybody doing out there? I hope everyone's staying safe and well during this time. And this is a fun little distraction for you guys and girls. This is certainly fun for me. I know that this is like, you know, intimidating. Definitely is intimidating for me, but it's also fun. And uh, I get to learn some new stuff, which is like the ideal scenario, right? I get to learn some stuff and hopefully entertain you guys at the same time. All right. So now I have the case. Um, here I am just like going and starting to unscrew it. Yeah. <laughs> is that what I should be doing? I'm just like, oh, uh, oh yeah, oh, I think so. I go. think it's time. Oh, first let's show. Um, so in the case that in the box that the case came in, right, there were a set of screws, uh, uh and, yes. and like a little uh, accessories yeah. box, right? We need that. The fractal, fractal design accessory box. Yes. Is right here. Yes. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. So okay. when you buy a case, it should have everything you need inside of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so there should be, you shouldn't be searching for screws, uh, generally speaking. So. Right. Generally speaking. So there's, a, there's some screws generally. here, there's some zip ties too. Generally, yeah. Uh, I mean, unless you buy really, really cheap ones, but hopefully, you know, hopefully it will no, come I with think everything that you need. E even even the cheap ones should even definitely the really have the screws. Okay. They should. They I should. Don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't bought a case in many, many moons, so I don't know how they all work now. Okay. Um, but yes, if they don't come with the, with the screws, then there's something wrong. Okay. Pro tip. Pro tip. Take it back. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So let's make some room. Uh, 
Oh, you're already there going you go. ahead. All right, so unscrew uh, both, look, I both got, uh, side panels. I got excited. I got excited and okay. uh, I just started unscrewing everything. Let me put this down on a surface that isn't in the yeah. way in the kitchen. Um, but yes, as you noticed, I am in my kitchen and this is the biggest workspace that I have. And uh, there's some good light in here as well. That's all seems to be the best place to do it because otherwise doing it on my coffee table wouldn't be ideal because there's also carpet yeah. there and um, this is just like a nice place where I can keep everything in fairly good order. All right, both, okay, sides came off pretty easily. Those screws were nice and uh, nice and loose. Okay. Yep, so those were uh, thumb screws. Let me just clarify here yes. really quick, just so that Thumbs everyone's yes, so I didn't on board. I need a board. screwdriver to take them off, yes. I'm sorry, I just went yep. straight to taking off the sides without showing you guys, <laughs> my, my bad. I should take a shot of coffee for that, I think. Um, there we go. All right, so the screws there, I just loosened them and took them off uh, with my hands. I didn't need a screwdriver because they were nice and loose. And yeah, the panels just uh, came off as you saw. Nice and simple. Yep, uh, super okay. simple. Oof, super simple. All right. So, uh, take a look okay. So case is here. open, uh, in, mm -hmm. inside the case. Do you want to turn the case towards the camera? The, yeah. the, uh, inside? Yes. Yeah. Do you want me to lay it down or should I leave it upright? No, 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 no. We can, we can work right here for a moment. Uh, okay. so the case, uh, so those string of cables running down uh, the yeah. middle of the case, that's your front IO. So that's like your power button. Okay. That's your USB yeah. on the front. Uh, I think okay, USB so 3.0. That's all the ones that are, yeah. So let me just show yeah, you, up at the all, top. those buttons are up at the top here. Yep, and your okay. headphone jack, so those, so yeah. all that stuff's cool. on the front and that will connect to your motherboard. Uh, I usually just do those at the end uh, or in the middle, okay. somewhere around there. Um, and there's also, the, this case comes with two fans. We didn't buy any extra fans. If you have a little bit mm -hmm. of money, I would recommend getting a third fan um, to blow air out the back of it uh, at, ah. at the case. Um, mm -hmm. But to keep it under budget, I didn't add an extra fan just to keep it simple. Um, also, our, our motherboard only has two fan headers, and we didn't want to buy a fan controller, and it gets too complicated at that point for a beginner. Got it. Uh, so mm -hmm. keeping it super simple. Uh, mm -hmm. So the next step after you've popped open your case, and you take the both side panels off, is that we're going to actually bring in the power supply uh, to okay. pre-route cables. Correct. Let's grab the power supply. I'm just uh, walking back and forth to my parts table over here. Okay, power supply right here. Ooh, chunky box. All right, let's uh, open this up. Ah. It's actually quite therapeutic opening boxes like this, you know, little, as I said before, it's kind of like ASMR, it's just without the volume, you know. I just like looking at open boxes. It's fun. Okay, so here we go. Pull everything out. Oh, there's a lot of cables in here. Okay. Oh, oh there you weren't kidding about cables. this being an octopus. This is an or this is an <laughs> octopus. We're, my goodness. All right. Whoa. So so this is this is a. What the uh... heck is this, dude? <laughs> you, you said it was an octopus, but I didn't realize it was going to be this big. Okay. Yeah, All right. well, here we it's go. not going to be right, the so... prettiest inside the case, but uh, let me just make, I have a note about this. Um, so this power <laughs> supply, I'm reading off here. So this power supply is a non-modular power supply, meaning it's going to have an extra wide range of power connectors. So we're not going to okay. plug in all of those connectors onto our components uh, because right. we don't have that many components to begin with. Uh, mm -hmm. But what, uh, uh, so that means we'll have to hide all these cables somewhere in the build, uh, which might not be possible with this case. Um, if you get I a modular power supply, do that. Uh, I, I figured it out. I'll, I'll walk you through it. Anyway, um, if okay. you get a modular power supply, it actually has uh, cables separately that you plug into um, the the power supply itself, and those are the only ones that you'll actually need. Um, or there's also semi-modular power supplies that um, are half octopus, half um, non-octopus <laughs> <laughs> technical term there octopus non-octopus yes. cephalopod octopus, non -octopus. Non -octopus. okay <laughs> okay um so i have an entire uh smorgasbord or a noah's ark of cables and the bag also came the box sorry also came with some screws so i'm keeping those aside i'm assuming they're going to be very needed 
very soon. Um, okay, yes. so now uh, I have to work out where this is going to fit inside the case. <laughs> just like honestly the, the mess of cables it's giving me ocd just looking at it right now and uh, i know i know just i know deep breath. i know it's gonna be okay so be all right. uh, on the bottom half of the case towards mm -hmm. the middle do you see an opening on the back uh, uh against the back yep this right that yeah. in there yeah so you're gonna mm -hmm. run all of that octopus cable through that opening. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oof. I know. I know. Oh wow. This okay, so I'm just gonna do it one one by one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit the entire <laughs> the entire creature through. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oof, oof. here we go. Multiple Oh leads. actually really quick, uh, I have a note about this oh. case. This case has okay. a sorry, before you do that, I just saw it. Pause. So freeze uh, to the left to the left of that uh opening, do you see four screws? Uh, holes. Uh, holes. Yep. Yeah, these ones. Yep. yep. One, two, three, four. The uh -huh. SSD that we have, you can mount it to yep. the back side of that, and you would do that before putting in your power supply because your power supply will cover it. Oh. However. Right. Okay. So should I? No. No. I no. Don't... However. I... However. Luckily, I tested this out. However, because our power supply is non-modular, it means that there are extra connectors. Um, for like legacy connectors, like a Molex connector or something like that. Meaning okay. that the SATA cables won't fit pressed up against so closely to the case. So if you uh, had a modular okay. power supply that the SATA power was just on its own, you could probably get it to fit with the SSD fitting on the back over there. But because okay. there are more things with this power supply, uh, our SSD won't fit back there. Our SSD Got fits, it. but the power supply, we, we couldn't get power to it, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. So, <laughs> so it's not much point having it then, basically. Yeah, we can't, we can't get it Need to fit there. Power. But it is a really, Need power. It, is a, it is a really nice place to uh, hide the SSD back there. I thought it was mm -hmm. super convenient, and I, and I was really excited to use it. And then when I tried to plug in the power supply, it just didn't fit. So I was just uh, really yes. disappointed. Not so much. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Well, look, at it's least okay. this is this is part of this is part of the experience. Is that every case is different, and everything is going to install uh, require a slightly different order of installation. So that's good. Now we know. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. octopus is octopus is in uh situ is in position, Mister Bond. And uh, okay. There we. Okay. All right. Now should okay, I put so... this inside the case? N not. The, uh. Yes. Not but the way we want to do it is that you see how there's a fan hole uh, uh on top of the uh of the power supply yep uh, uh, yeah so we want to yeah. actually put that facing down to the exhaust portion of the uh, of the case yeah so this this is the exhaust portion the uh honeycomb pattern here yeah yep the honeycomb okay. pattern so you so want to have all the air blowing flip out it? flip yep. it right okay flip it. uh actually i should flip it no this no, way. you're gonna have to flip it and then like bite the cables. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be a thing. Yeah. Uh yeah, it is a thing. Um okay. Yeah. Yeah, well mm -hmm. okay. And and flip your it. your outlet it's Yeah, I think it that's a thing. Yeah. It's, it's really uh okay. And the out okay, but <laughs> this is more difficult Sorry. than it looks. Uh okay, so it's the so the fan is facing down, but now the the issue is uh how are they, should the this uh, edge with the octopus cables are coming out should that face the direction of where the outlet is or should that be a different orientation? Uh, it should face uh towards that that hole just just for cable management wise. I think you're doing it right. I think you're, you're... okay. I was doing it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You're good. You're it's good. Just that it feels like I'm going to squish the cables though. It's okay. Oh wait, but uh, oh no no no. Sorry, my mistake. I probably I guess I think I need to take a shot. Uh oh. So uh -oh, that uh, so you, like, that that uh, you see that yeah. power outlet? You see that power right in front facing you? That should actually be facing the back of the case. Yeah. So you see how there's a big opening to the left? Uh, that of the case. Yeah. Yep. That, yeah. Yep. That's where your power supply outlet should go. I was right about to there. say. Okay. I was about to say. I was like, that doesn't feel right. How do you plug that in? <laughs> coffee time. All, All right, right Mr. Time, Brown. Coffee. Here's. I'm on my second time, can. 
second. Oh my goodness. Okay. Every time that Oliver gives me an instruction that isn't hundred percent and he takes a shot of coffee because he is sensitive to caffeine. So this is probably going to be the most caffeinated beginner's PC build uh, in the history of time. Well, we'll see. Maybe not. Getting, Maybe not. I am literally You're getting, getting jittery. Ready. Oh, no. mm. <laughs> don't maybe just have half of it because your consideration of what your opinion of what a shot is is vastly different to my opinion of a shot you know like that is a small amount you, you've got half a glass but or half a can of coffee essentially oh take a deep breath take it's you need like some uh, water to dilute it or something i, ha I have water I should, yeah i drink some water okay. <laughs> Okay, What's that cool. like gif right, of that lady uh... on the Food Network? She's like just a shot of uh, vodka, and then she's just sitting there, just pouring the whole vodka into the into the, yeah, yeah, just infinite glug 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 glug. Anyway, okay, <laughs> what are we doing here? We're building a PC. Uh, we're, we're building oh a PC. God. Yes, okay. not talking about gifs. Uh, I can sit and talk about gifs if you want, or gifs, uh, however you want to pronounce it. But we're not going to get into that debate now because uh, we could be no. here all day. All right. Well, we might be here all day. Depends how long it takes me to do this. All right. Uh, time check. We are about an hour and 20 minutes into the build. Well, don't forget, we did have about 20 minutes. We were just like talking about specs and everything off the top. So from, technically we're about an hour into the build and uh, we haven't got that far. No, we have. We have. We're doing good, I think. Um, so we have the power supply seated. Take a look. Is that correct? All the octopus cables are coming out. Uh, and then let's have a look around the... Let me turn this a little bit so you can see because I'm I am tethered to uh, the power so I can't turn it that much um how's how's that does that look uh, that, that looks, looks good. correct yep good that looks okay. correct sweet yeah I mean look to a layman laywoman like me that looks correct uh there we go all right now do I need to start screwing in the power supply yes is that what I yes. would do next okay sweet yes. all right so I take these uh I'm guessing these guys these screws that came in the box so that you have an you have an aesthetic choice right now, so those are silver screws okay. that came with the power supply. Your oh. case actually oh. has uh, black screws in the baggies as well. Oh. What would you like to use? Oh, let's be let's be uh, vain about this. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, uh, these smaller ones. I'm assuming not the larger ones. So there's well, oh. so there should be two. There's, there should be two bags. There's two. There uh, are two bags. Yeah. Okay, the first one bag is uh, has screws that are all the same, all identical, which I believe is the one on the right. Yeah, this one. Yes. They all look the same. Yeah, so and these ones have That's going to be, uh, the one on the right is going to be for mounting the SSD. So we can put that off to the side okay. for now. All right, lucky you were here because I was about to use those. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now I need um, to find uh, ones that match these, essentially. Yeah, the that uh, came with I the can't supply. see... I can't see the I know power you supply can't. ones I'm too sorry. clearly, but they, <laughs> they should be uh, hexagonal. Is that how you say it? Hexagonal, yeah. Hexagonal. There you go, Hex hexagonal headed Ooh, screws. I like hexa hexagonal. There we go. Hexagonal, <laughs> six-sided. Uh, yeah, oh. and we'll need four of them. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, let's see. That looks that, like a that hexagon. Looks, yep, that's it. Yep. These ones look correct. Yeah, all right, let's get four yep. of those guys. Hard to see because there's a lot of like components. They will uh, blend into one in the bag. I'm trying to be good and not uh, you know, tip them all out onto the surface because I'm working with a black surface, so everything is going to be hard to see. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, everybody, while Lexi finds the right screw. Um, do 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 do. Oh, let's see. do 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 do. Entertainment value is uh, through the roof right now. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that uh, you're enjoying our little live stream brought to you from the comfort of our own homes. This is fun because it actually does feel like you're here with me, you know. Um, it does feel yeah. like we're doing this together. It's nice. That one is not, that's not hexagon. That, oh, they're so similar. All right, I've got three of the same. Uh, come on. Come on, Lexi, you can do this. All right. Uh, who would have thought? The thing was going to trip me out with a wrong screw. Yeah, that doesn't look right either. That's not the same as that one. Oh, is that like yeah, a flathead so, one? Yes. No, yeah. Don't it's use like the flathead. No, it's a rounded one. No, no, it's a rounded. Hang on. Oh, don't use the. Hang on. Wait. No, that, that that's good. That's wait. That's that? the one, right? Tilt yeah, it that's to the, the one side I'm a little for. bit. This. 
Yep, yep, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that. So the one that this is the one that's the uh, one that looks the same, the devious one, but it's not the right one. Oh, <laughs> I yes. found three of the. If you want to start, ones. if you want to start separating those, those are going to be for the motherboard, the rounded top. Oh, ones. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, you know what? I have some good cable management, not cable management. Uh, screw management. Organization. So you got organization. Organization. That's yeah. right. Yep. That's the word. Um. Yeah. Talking is hard sometimes when you are trying to build a PC. Uh, I don't know how you're doing this on your end because everybody uh, who's watching right now, uh, Oliver is not only instructing me how to do this, but he's also switching the cameras and uh, he's doing an excellent job of it. And I'm trying to be a camera person as well with my two cameras set up, but uh, you know, it's tricky. Okay, so screws, screws, okay. Screws. Now let's see. So there should screws. be uh, on the case. There are four looped uh, holes. They look rather elongated, like uh -huh. an egg. You see yep, uh, on the yeah, four corners. Uh, you just want to, yep. You just want to screw, screw it, screw the uh, power supply in. Yep. Try and get it. Uh, let's see. While you do that, Daniel C wants to know if the motherboard has an M.2 slot. Yes, it does. There you go. That's a very That's a good, I like those, qu those easy questions. <laughs> I like them. Yeah. You know, also, I learned something. You did teach me something that's actually really useful for not just building a PC, but also other home maintenance projects in terms of uh, screwing correctly. That sounds weird. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you need to do it, uh, so, you know, diagonals rather than one, two, three, four clockwise because it helps with the tension and it helps with the alignment oh, yeah. too. So that's actually that's been like, like a really like, helpful tip. Yeah. That's like a, a dad pro tip. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, dad pro tip. That's a that's a new, new YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Dad pro tip. Dad, dad pro tip. That might exist <laughs> yeah, already. I like Let's that. not promote that. Oh, does it? <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Well, if it doesn't, I've heard it here first. If it does. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Okay. The screws are seated. All right. Looks good. Excellent. I'm happy with the progress. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. So uh, now you want to just pivot back? Uh, let's go to the back of the case. Okay, flip this way. Yeah, and uh, can you tilt the camera up a little bit? Yeah, I sure can. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the octopus of cables is really cramp in my style here okay i know um, okay I well, know. we're good we're good it's okay i don't mind it's just more just like it's it's difficult to manage if i had a smaller space like if i was doing this on a coffee table this would be very difficult i mean it's possible but oh, it yeah. would be more difficult not, than, than i'm not um, it possible is right now. <sighs> well anything's possible in that way right you just might be a lot more swearing involved i haven't sworn once yet isn't that great <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's still time. The, the day is young, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay. So ugh, okay. this needs to be fixed. Oh, sorry, not the it. back. I meant the uh, the other back. <sighs> the other back? The other I'm back? not taking another shot for that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, you were like, oh, this is the right. Yeah, this is the back. This is the back. Yeah, definitely. That looks great. Like, see, that looks amazing. There are two there backs. There are backs. There's like the back back and then there's like the side back. <laughs> the back back and the side back. Okay. All right. Whatever you say, I'm All just right. building this thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we have, the, this is the side back. Very technical yes. term, everybody. Yes. Side back. So mm -hmm. uh, do you want to grab all of the octopus and hold it up to Not camera really. so we can sort of take a look, <laughs> take a look at what we need? <laughs> well, you're giving me some mad anxiety right now. This like mess of cables. This is, is oh. this standard for a power supply? Like this, um, this amount of stuff? I assume it would be. For, right? for a, a uh, non-modular power supply, yes. Okay. Because, Whew. you know, they, right, you don't, they things. don't know what components you're using, so they just throw right. everything on there, you know? Okay, so, so it's a real grab bag of stuff. So, you know, you want it, it maybe? Who knows? Just have it anyway. Cool. Um, okay. So now we have okay. the octopus. What am I doing with this? Yeah. So we're going to route some cables <laughs> before putting in the motherboard just so that we have a little bit of a cleaner yeah. uh, cable okay. management. It's not going to be the best okay. cable management, but it'll be a lot cleaner than just leaving the cables hanging everywhere. 
So yeah. just looking at the camera, the uh, the thick cable in your left hand, the one that has like the longest, uh, yep, that guy. ATX main connector. Uh, yep, that's going to no. empower yes. the motherboard. Uh, so that's okay. going to go in the top hole uh, in the middle. No, uh, it's the that left. One? Yeah, right there. That no, top no, one no, right no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Yes. I'm pointing. I'm pointing. Yep. Okay, that's why I'm I pointing. Yeah, yeah. So I do the right thing. Yep. Okay, good, good, good. All right. And then uh, you just want to pull right. the cable all the way through. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to yeah. give it a bit more tension. It's just at the moment the loop is not letting yeah, us yeah, come yeah. through fully. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. That's, that's uh, done. And then uh, we finished. Back this. to the octopus. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back All right. Uh, uh, we're going to look for one that's labeled uh, CPU. Mm -hmm. CPU. Let's see. It uh, should look a uh, square. So it won't be on square. that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Got it. Got it. Yeah. My bad. I was looking at, uh, I didn't realize that these ones didn't have labels on them. It's just these ones. CPU. Well, maybe there are labels. I just can't see it. All right, CPU got that one. CPU. So that one's going to power our CPU, and so that one's going to go up to the very top right, above the big hole this, to the right. Yep, that one's going to go right up okay. there. Yep. Cool. Yay! I got the right hole this time. There we go. Oh, it's like a snake. It wants to come back again. All right, it is. CPU. Uh, <laughs> and then one last one for now. Yeah. Is and going now? to be the, I believe it's labeled PCIe or VGA? Uh, VG, the one you're this one is VGA. Hand, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. This is VGA. Yeah. Yep. So okay. does that one have a, can you bring it closer to the camera? That one does have three. Yeah. Okay. So that's a eight pin connector, right? Uh, yes. I uh, know this, this one's six. Oh, there's, there's eight. Yeah. Yep. Six you plus two. Together. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. All good. Perfect. So we're going to route that uh, under the, uh, motherboard power so power cable uh okay, so on the so whole under one. yep the yep, one down okay. there yep yep gently does it okay all right that one's in uh and then we just leave these guys stranded for a little bit until we come rescue them yes correct? those are uh those okay. are going to get in the way uh we're only using one mm -hmm. more but we'll do that a, a little bit later okay all right, should I flip okay. it back towards you now for everything? Yes. So I think we I okay. think at this point you should lay it flat on the table and you might okay. have to go uh with your uh headlight. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Camping. Okay, so I'm laying it flat uh okay, like so. These cables, the ones that we're leaving spare, is that all right if they're just hanging, dangling? Yep. They're not gonna get damaged totally or anything. Fine. Okay. Nope. Cool. As long as you're not like grinding and sawing and cutting them, you should be fine. No, no, I try not to. Okay, yeah. I just try not to. Okay, cool. I would also bring the uh, power supply so it's closer to you. So rotate it. Yes. All right, rotate it. Gently does it. Uh, okay, now camera-wise, how are we doing here? Do I need to get a bit more elevation for you? Uh, yeah, if um, you can. Uh, that's a great question. You know, I baked cookies yesterday, so I do have something that I can rest it on. There's a little higher because I'm only working with a little tripod on their camera B, so it needs a little bit of extra elevation. And now is this high enough? Or do I need something higher? Ah! Uh oh. Actually, I don't know if that's going to stay steady. No, that was, sorry, that was just the headlamp. Mm. Okay. Is that going to be stable? No, I'll get some, you know what? Sorry, cookies. It is not you. It's me. Let's get some books. I think I have a lot of books in the house, so. You just wanted to have the cookies next to you, huh? I, yeah, shh, I tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost lunchtime. Lexi gets hangry. Okay. Um, a couple books. I mean, I guess I could also use one of the boxes, but component boxes but these ones are actually going to be a little bit more steady okay someone's commenting uh, on your uh, kitchen aid mixer 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's it's one of the loves of my life, that KitchenAid mixer. Um, hashtag not sponsored, but I really love the KitchenAid. It's really great for baking and making ice cream and cooking and all those sorts of things. Yeah, so if you uh, if you want to watch some cooking videos that I do, I do them on Instagram. Oh, the doorbell. Uh -oh. Oh, my God. Oh, the doorbell. Okay, that might be. That might be the chip. Okay, okay anyway. Um, great timing. Oh, doorbell ringing again. Oh, man. Okay. They're like, really? Oh, they're like, here's your he chip. Take it. He, he or she is insistent. Are... Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, right. Now, uh, what are we doing? Can you see? Good uh... enough? <laughs> I remember my headline. Can you see? Good yeah, enough. Good England. I got good I England. Good. Okay. I see. I speak good. So you see good. You, I just oh want to say you don't need a headlamp for for building a PC. <laughs> this is this is just so that we can show it on camera and on stream. Yeah. Uh, all the components exactly. on the inside are totally black. Uh, so we are we are uh, we are adding oh, a, a little bit of light. Here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks solid. yeah. Is this good enough? Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it the other way. So then I can get some more angle on it. And if this isn't enough light, I do have another light that we can do. Um, I think it'll all be right. enough. Enough light? Okay. That's looking good. Uh, okay. Now, I uh, hear a delivery of some sort. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here. Why don't we get started with... Okay. So uh, yeah. why don't you grab the, uh, the bag of screws? Thank you. Yes. Oh, there it is. Uh, but that's our RX uh, 570. Oh, yeah. in the nick of time. There you go. Thank you very much, delivery man. Thank you. Um, <laughs> excellent. Okay, bag of screws. Uh, which which bag? The uh, small bag. Sorry if I'm no I'm the big you bag. The, the big bag. Oh, that's right. The one that I decanted into. Here we go. Yes, the big bag of the screws. Okay. Yes. So we're going to look for something called a standoff, which is a, a, a tube with a screw on the end of it in the bag. A tube with a screw. Oh, okay. In the bag. Also. Yeah, in the bag. In the bag. Oh, in the bag. Okay. A tube with a screw on the end of it. Ah. Let's see. Looks like a... This one? Uh, no, because we need like nine or uh, set, sorry, six. Seven of them. Seven of them. Yeah. So that. But, um, not that. So that's one. not okay. it. That there's only one of those. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. They're like um, thin. Well. Yes, I know which one you mean, but that's not technically a tube. That's like a cylinder. No. Uh, uh, it's a no, cylinder. It's a, whatever. Whatever. It's a no. It's a it's a hexagonal. Uh, see, can you see this one? Barely. One. I know it's hard to see. Yeah, Hexact, we need a yeah. seven or eight of them. I forgot. That one. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to bring it into the shot. Yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the light. It's just a real There you go. Yeah, spotlight it. <laughs> okay. Spotlight it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So I need six or seven of them, you said. Yep. All right. Oh, all right. Uh, again, we need some like hold music or something. Do, 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 do. Um, one, two, hey everybody, I can count. Uh, three, four. This is the part of the stream where uh, we go have a little nap and we come back later. We just start counting. One, yeah. two. So count sheets. Seven like, standoffs. Count. <laughs> how uh, how close do you have the motherboard next to you? It's it's very close. It's right here. Um, do you mind counting how many holes there are in it? They they have like a little, like if you look at the bottom right hand corner, there's a hole with like uh, some metal around it. Uh, bottom right hand corner there. Yeah. Yeah. So there should be either One, seven or eight. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five six seven i think seven yeah 
There might be if one in the middle. So we need, okay, oh. so we need seven. Oh, yeah, seven... yeah, you're right. There is one in the yeah. middle. There you go. There's one there. Okay. Okay. So seven. So we eight, need, right? uh, we need seven because there's already one in the case and, and it will, will, it's like a center position one. Oh, there is. Yes. Okay. I see that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we need seven uh, standoffs and seven, seven? screws. Yeah. <laughs> you got seven? I got seven. Seven okay. stand. These are called standoffs. Okay. Yep. They're standoffs. Standoff. Cool. All right. I look okay. absolutely ridiculous with my uh, head mounted light, <laughs> but it's so helpful. It's so helpful. Um, yes. Well, maybe maybe very... this does belong in the in the guide. Is you need a, a headlamp. You know exactly because like if you don't have a flashlight or something like that, then uh, or it's hard to unless you have optical hands, uh, then uh, you need one for these. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I have my seven standoffs. Uh, now it looks like these ones require a different screw head. What is so the correct? You can screw, screw head? them in manually with your hand. Uh, yeah, I could. What's the better option for someone like me who's not very steady with their hand? Well, Would you then do you it can with get your hand? The That's the attach. No, you got me there. No. I wouldn't. Yeah, you see, no. you see. Oh no. Okay. That sort of breaks the only need a screwdriver rule, though, you know? That's true. That's a good point. I did well, think I about this, though. I hands, was thinking but... about this last night. There's a way you could start it with your hand, but then you can grab the screws that go into it and tighten it by tightening the screw in, you know? You could do that, but if you want to save some time, because it's almost noon already, we could just go <laughs> just, with the yes. tools that we have. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go. Um, all right, give okay. me the right uh, head that I need for. Uh, I don't that. know. You'll you have to. Know. It's like at the top. I'll have it's at to the top middle it one, but I don't remember yeah. what number it is. Um, that's okay. Uh, that looks too small. Top. Let's see. I don't know that one or is the next one this is very exciting television watching me work out which which one i need no it must be the previous one okay i think that's correct no i don't know actually no that's not gonna work it's not gonna work. all right i'm gonna try it with my hands can i see the I can i see the kit the i fix the kit yeah yeah let me bring it over let me bring it over so it should be those uh those like tube tube looking dudes at the top yeah. Try the up Try to the right. Not... They might be that too one. small. Can we get like a bigger one? Let's try this one. Yeah, I was I was I struggling that... with which one. No, that's too big. That's too big. That is too big. <laughs> Still too big. Hmm. Wait, really? Can I see uh, what you're using? Because they were supposed to. I, I did it with the. And it was too. Did I? No, that's the right one, I think. It's the right one? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, that's okay. Uh, we can do no, it. No, that's, that's no, not it. Happen. That's an extender. That's not it. Nope. Uh, oh. Like it, like it wouldn't fit in the. Oh, no, no. Other way, Lexi. Flip it. Oh, ha yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yeah, to yeah. take a. Sh I need to take a shot now. Hey, there we go. What should I take a shot of? Okay. Uh, okay. what do you got? <laughs> you should eat a cookie. Water, water. No, no cookie, and I'll be too, too hyper. Um. Okay. So this is the way it should go. Yay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Correct. Yay. Yep. She finally yep, did yep, it. Yep. Okay. All right, great. So now I take these uh, these standoffs. <laughs> it's a funny word. Yes, this is a funny word. Oh, standoffs. It's a funny word. It's a funny word. Standoff. Um, sorry, guys. I'm getting a little delirious. We are an hour and forty five minutes into the build. Here we go. Okay. So now um, I basically need to put the motherboard down into the case. Uh, wait, wait. We we can't see it. No. You want to rotate your camera? Oh yeah, of course. Thank you. Yes, of course. <laughs> Yes, I got too excited, so you now can't yes. see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, 
cool. Okay, so uh, on that plate back there, that that uh, mm -hmm. that aluminum sheet back there, uh, there is uh, labels next to them, little letters. I believe one says A yeah. and one says M, or A, A slash M. That's M. that one. Uh huh. Yep. A okay. M. Those two so, both have A M on them, and these ones. Yep. So the A yeah, uh, just stands for yeah. the standard ATX motherboard okay uh we have a micro atx uh motherboard so okay. we're going to screw it into the ones labeled m uh m okay or a cool. slash m which means for both. a slash m so yeah there's one two three four five of the a slash m okay yep and then there are probably some cool. m solo ones on the bottom m solo ones okay Yes, there are definitely M solo ones on the bottom. Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. So uh, now the motherboard. Uh, let's bring this over. Okay. So oh, orientation-wise. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Wait. Whoa, I look at chat for one second. What are you doing? Well, no, no, no. It's screwing the standoffs. Screw, oh, screw screw the standoffs first, dude. You were just like, okay, yes. there are the there are the things that go for it. I was like, okay, great, great. Go oh my it. god, a minute and forty five in, and I'm losing it already. Oh no, an hour and forty five minute. What are you talking about? A minute and forty five in. I'm oh, sorry. See, oh no. See, it's I'm okay. It. It's okay. This is the joys of doing a live broadcast. Things happen. Okay, so, all right. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Here, while you do that, I'm gonna take a shot. Oh, we'll be done. We'll take be another done shot. I'm not 12. even going to pour it anymore. We'll... I'm just going to drink out of the mug. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Good luck. I'll see you in another life then. <laughs> just oh. please don't get too over caffeinated on my behalf. I think um, I'm already okay. losing it. I might crash soon. I actually. think. Like, I feel like. Oh, I'm no. I'm starting to feel like a little tired. It just might not, might not be good. Uh oh. How tight should I be doing these? Fairly uh, tight? Pretty tight. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, Got you it. don't want to like start screwing into the aluminum because it is a, a no. soft aluminum, yeah. uh, but just enough mm -hmm. that they stop just, turning. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I just wasn't sure if I needed to like retighten once the board is on top, but no. Okay. Can you see everything that I'm doing okay in here? Is yep. that a good? Cool. Okay. Just uh, tell me if not. Okay, this is a real test of patience. Imagine if you were doing this with someone that, like, you know, has no, um, I mean, I don't have much of a reference point, but I have some idea of the terminology and stuff, and I have, like, some familiarity with being inside a PC. But, yeah, you've got to be really, really patient, right? Really, really patient. And, uh, yeah. you know, the end is always worth it. And you also have to be willing it, you... to... To, uh, to back up and undo things. Yes. <laughs> Which, as much as it sucks, exactly. it, it will happen. It will definitely happen. Yeah, totally. Okay. All right. So there's another AM slot one here. Um, okay. So the ones that say, uh, I have two screws left. So I've got all the AM ones. So I have one. Two, uh, so the three, two screws, four, five. That one was already in there. Six, and then I have two yep. more screws. Yeah, where, where do they want? They go. Uh, they should just in, be into... uh, labeled M. M. Yes. Oh yeah. How M many M? Those. There yeah. are. Can you see? Can you see inside the? Case yeah, here? I think there's, there's one, two, there's three, three right? M's. Yes, correct. So if you look at the motherboard, um, so the ones that are in the middle that your that your light is highlighting. That one? You see how there's two? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Before you screw it in, um, yeah, yeah. I was actually looking at our motherboard. Our motherboard only uses one of those, which I think is okay. the bottom one. This one. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that yeah. one. And uh, if it's wrong, I will take it out again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I pretty guess. sure it's the bottom one. We got, we got some time. Okay. Bottom one. Great. Um, all right, and then the other M, the last one goes, lucky last goes in this one? Yep. Cool. I'm glad that you can see. 
Well, I can't see that one, about. but uh, oh, we okay. can see the well, other you, one. You know we, get, we get the gist cool. of it, right? You're just screwing <laughs> you in the, gist. the other ones. Lexi puts in uh, screws, scintillating viewing. Okay. Standoffs. Okay. Old there Dirty Box on YouTube says you could just screw them in by hand. No special crew required. Yes. That's true. I know. Um, I would normally do that, but I don't have a lot of dexterity and, and like strength with screwing very small things. I know that about me. Um, so using a tool is actually going to be a little easier for me because then I can have more some more precision and know that they're actually in there. But absolutely, like if you know that you can, you know, manipulate that really well, then 100% do it by hand. I just know that it, like a little tool is going to be easier for me. Um, and that's okay. Yeah. You know, everyone's different. It's going to be everyone faster different... too. You don't want to like, you don't want to like, you know, pinch your thumb and your finger trying to screw in yeah. these these standoffs. Um, so I'm clumsy. I know I would do that. I definitely know I would do that. <laughs> um, okay, so a happy camper over here has her standoffs. Okay, and so we're uh, almost now... ready. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm so ready to uh, go on to the in... next step. You know, almost. So in the uh, in the motherboard box, there should be an I/O shield, or essentially a, like a, a aluminum plate that has a bunch of holes cut out in it. Okay, let's have a look in here. Yes, there is indeed. Yes, uh -huh. this guy. Yeah. Take it out of so the packaging. Wanna... Out of the packaging. And into the drink. Just kidding. No. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, out of packaging. So let's see. Now, so uh, so there's some tabs uh, on it, right? Let me switch to yeah. this cam. Yeah, so, so it looks like some... this one has to go, I don't know if you can see. It looks like it needs to go in this part. Right? Yes, exactly. And you go okay. from the inside and you push it in. Uh, make sure that the three uh -huh. audio ports, the three holes are facing the yep. bottom of the case. Uh, you also they're, just want to yeah, check, double check with the the motherboard that that's going to be the location of the ports because you'd hate to pop off okay. the um, right the shield off and then the flip it because you put it in the wrong way. Yeah, that looks like it should. They're on the bottom. It looks like. Okay. And also the um, the lettering would be upside down otherwise as well. Oh, is it, are there letters on it? I didn't. I didn't look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it says, you know, like, uh, mic in, line in, all that good stuff. And it's actually engraved on there. So it's it's written in a way. I don't know if you can see that. It's written. <laughs> so if I put it upside down, it's going to be uh, upside down. So you want to put it in the way where it's written. Okay. Yep. So I just put this in here and okay. just, like, snap it in. Yep. It just pops in. So you want to push from the back towards the front. Yep. There you go. Simple enough. Uh, can you see that? <laughs> Hopefully you can. Uh, bring the camera down a little bit. You, yeah, go bring that down. Yep. So there you go. So that's okay. the IO shield. That's something that um, I forgot when I first built my PC. I just went, I was so excited. I was ready to just throw it on the motherboard <laughs> and I threw it in and I was like, oh wait, there's uh -oh. like this aluminum piece that uh, is missing and it just, oh, I had to take out the whole plug. motherboard again and yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Common, Don't common mistake, then. common, common, uh, eagerness, excitement, right. Of, of the yeah. build. Uh, you start, excited. you start running ahead of where you should be. But that's basically been me the whole day. I've just been like, yeah, I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Whoops, <laughs> no, that's too fast. <laughs> too fast. Pump the brakes. Too fast. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. So, okay. So now do I, I get think to put we're the ready. motherboard in? So quick question. Did you get Yes. The 3300X delivered, or was it just the no. graphics card? No, 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 This was just, I'm, I'm fairly sure it was just the Radeon RX 570. There was, uh, yeah, that's it. That was the only component. The, AM, the, the AMD chip, the other one that we're waiting on, may arrive um, as I install this, but I believe um, that the Gigabyte card also came on FedEx. So there must be two separate trucks, I'm assuming. So they both didn't okay. arrive at the same time. All right. So it would we're be just gonna go with this one. Yeah, I'd be. I think at this point we're not gonna. Okay, just notes for the stream. Uh, yeah. I think at this point we're about to screw in the motherboard into the case. Maybe we should do a quick wrap because mm -hmm. it's noon. Um, 
Yes, so definitely. I'm going to take we, my, my headline what have we What have we done? <laughs> we, uh, what have we done? We got... Please recap. <laughs> so we've got uh, the motherboard unboxed. We've got the CPU into the motherboard. We put the cooler on top of mm -hmm. the CPU. We have our RAM installed. Uh, we got the case cracked open. Uh, mm -hmm. And we got the, the power supply in the case. We got the standoffs in the case and we're ready to put the motherboard with all the components into the case. Um, cool. We were going to wait for the 3300X. So oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. okay. You're good. Otherwise, <laughs> it, might, it just looks like I'm pointing the camera down and you can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, <so, laughs> it was like everyone at home is going to be like, why is she holding the camera? We can't see. We just see her holding the camera. Um, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry uh, to interrupt. So you be with... I see that some people in the chat are asking what CPU we're using. Uh, so our backup CPU, the one that is in there right now, is the Ryzen 5 1600AF. is a, a $85 uh, chip CPU with six core, 12 threads. If you can find it $85, totally a great CPU to have. But um, I would honestly recommend the 3300X for gaming. Uh, it just clocks mm -hmm. higher, so it's going to be a little bit better for single-threaded games. Uh, so we were hoping to get that today. It might still be delivered, but I think at this point It'll, when we're about to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it'd be it's really difficult. Come, I mean, we could. Like, yeah. We could, but we were going to have to unplug all the power cables, and it's... Right. It's going to be a thing. And I think, you know, it's going to be a thing. And maybe that could be another live stream. If you are watching this and you really want to see maybe like changing our CPU, uh, adding more RAM, maybe we could do another live stream if there is interest because um, yeah. we've waited two hours for this CPU to get here, the the one, the AMD that we were supposed to be using and it hasn't arrived. So we just got to make do with what we have. So, you know. Yeah. And, and like I said, the, the 1600 yeah. is, is a great CPU. It Like it's more exactly. for, like it has two extra cores. It's a great CPU. It's cheaper, but it's the availability might be really limited um, at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and you can pre-order the 3300X. Like I know BNH had a pre-order open um, for yeah. 120 bucks. So the 3100, which is just 100 bucks, although everything that I've read says that go for the X, 3300X, mm -hmm. uh, the performance is just yeah. much better and it's worth the extra 20. So yeah. anyway, I think at this point, we're locked into the 1600 AF. So our description mm -hmm. is a little bit uh, out of, date um we'll we'll change but it but uh, we're, we're, that's okay we're, 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 we're along. giving it a go you're chugging along we gave it a red yeah. hot go as they say in australia yeah. um gave it a shot and look it's it's crazy it's a it's a pandemic out there so you know much love to uh, everyone who is working delivery jobs um because you're doing an awesome job first responders yes. and healthcare workers much love to you all much love to you all thank you for doing what you do and those um, of you who so are working from home PC, and watching yeah. the stream yeah. and not working, hi and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hello to everybody. We love you all. Thank you for watching. Um, okay. So, all right. Now we've made our decision. We've called it on the CPU. So um, yep. now I've, I've got the standoffs in, in the case. And what's my next step? Do I actually get to put it in motherboard? Yep. You finally get to slot in the yeah! motherboard. Oh Finally. my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I think this okay, is this like is halfway mark, now. which kind of sucks. Are you but, serious? Yeah. We're two hours in and this is only the halfway mark? Oh. Well, we got to route oh, all the cables. That's actually a lot of work. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um, okay, so now configuration-wise, uh, it's essentially just lining uh, up the screws, right? The standoffs yeah. so, might uh, actually, Sorry, So remember me. there was that standoff that was already installed in the case that had a little nub yes. on the top of it? Uh-huh. So yeah. that's going to be your center point. So that's a sort of where okay. you want to make sure that it uh, the motherboard it. sits on correctly with that. Uh, and you actually okay. want to tilt in the I.O. Uh, so you want to tilt it the other way? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, you want, got it. Yeah, you want to go I.O. first and push that into the, the I.O. plate. The I.O. shield. Sorry, not the plate. I.O. shield. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, here's the thing. I can hold it by the cooler, right? Yeah. Yes, you can hold it by the cooler. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for heavier motherboards, but this one's pretty light that you can do it. Okay. Okay. Pushing in center line. Where's the, uh, the little nub, um, stand The off? little nub is, is right here. It's in place. The little so nub. So it's all good? Uh-huh. I'm just trying to work out where the other standoffs are and 
getting them into do I does it so do they click in or anything? No, no, we screw them in. So they're no. gonna sit they're okay, just sitting on cool. top right now of the standoff. Just, so we're about yes, to screw they them are. in. Great. Okay, perfect. I was expecting a little sort of seat or a click, but that's good to know. Okay. So let's No, check no, no, the we're screwing ports. them in. Um, okay. Now let's take a look at the ports. Do I need to push these in a little bit more? Can you see that or is that okay? No, I think I think they're good. The 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 when you screw in the motherboard, it'll lock it into wherever it's at. Uh, those ports okay. are easily accessible. They look fine. It looks great. great. Okay, good to you, know. You're doing great. All right, thank you. All right, now um, screw wise, this is where I need to pull out another set of screws from my bag of tricks. Correct. Yeah. So I think you might have pulled some out. There were the ones that have the round top. Yeah, the round ones. The ones that I was in, like confused for the, uh, yeah, other ones. So seven of those or eight of them? Two, uh, seven? Yeah. Three, scintillating viewing, watching me count. <laughs> Four. What kind of tool are we using? We're using a Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, but uh, one with a smaller. Smaller head. Yeah. I'm gonna. I, so From I have K. very fortunately. I have a very nice uh, little multi tool kit, which is nice, but it's not uh, required per se. Yeah. Correct. I, and, I will uh, say I this. Do have so a... let me let me talk about um, Phillips screwdrivers while you do this. So mm -hmm. you can get any standard size Phillips head screwdriver and almost go the full build without um, without needing anything different to complete it. Uh, mm -hmm. But what I actually would recommend is getting a couple, maybe one or two that are longer. Um, so the, the longer screws will help you at this point. Like right now, Lexi might have a little trouble keeping now, now this screwdriver is supposed to be uh, have a magnetic head, but it's a little weak. Yeah, um, it is a little weak. So if you had a Sorry. yeah, if you had a longer one, uh, it would sort of hold the screw better, and you can not you know have yeah. to like go all the way down with a with a shorter screwdriver um, into the right. hole. So I wouldn't say necessarily say different different sized heads of Phillips heads, um, but I would say sort of the tool length, maybe just like ones that are a little bit longer and shorter. Mm -hmm. um, and also, depending on the case, they might be more difficult to access, like some of the um, PCIe covers um, or even the motherboard, like the top left screw um, by the CPU power supply or the, the what do you call it, the EPS connector, um, which I'll show Lexi where it's at in a minute. Um, that one's sometimes yeah. a little bit difficult Ooh. to get uh, in some, some cases. So yeah. don't need like any special tool, just a screwdriver and then like i said if you have it a long one and a short one magnetic ones are great yeah. because you know your screws stay on uh, unfortunately the, <laughs> this the one, one is that really, I gave really Lexi weak is a, oh, yeah sorry really, i must really have used weak. it too much can't you no, just like it's, it's hit it with okay. the magnet and it will magnetize or something like that um yeah if i had him that oh well i mean like one on the fridge oh. i don't know it's fine i'm making um, i'm making do i don't i don't want to yeah, yeah. I don't want to do anything that is going to jeopardize this. So just uh, going nice and slow and methodical. Uh, yeah. Down. There you go. So just all, so these screws, <laughs> sound effects included in this build, by the way. <laughs> Lexi is specialty, is specialty, is a specialist in sound effects when it comes to screwing in things. You need like concentration music, you know. Do, 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 do. I do have the audio queued up, yeah. but I'm worried it might be too loud. That's that, okay. That song we were using for the test, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know, you can sing, right? You can have an impromptu karaoke do, session. Do, do, Just royalty-free royalty free music, though. I mean, I did, I, what I have yeah. is royalty-free, but I don't... But, like, can you sing okay. along to it? Like, do you know the lyrics? Or we could use that no. track. Um, what was that great track that we used in our video where I tested cheap wireless buds? It was, like, called Dragonfly. Waterfalls? By... Waterfalls, sorry. Oh, Waterfalls, Dragonfly. Dragonfly. No, no, it was Waterfalls. You're correct. That was a really was it good waterfalls? tune. Yeah, it was, it was really bassy. It might be too bassy for the stream. Yeah. It might drown out our voices. Maybe. Maybe, but I, I thought it was really cool. Okay. All right. 
Lucky lost. This looks good. I mean, hopefully it works. I, I feel like I, this I feels think, like a real achievement I, so far, you know. I don't see anything that wouldn't make it work or make it not work, okay. but uh Yay. I think we're I think we're good. You know, I think we're, okay. we're solid so all far. Right, so I have those screws in. I have the, the stanchions and the screws in all of the holes appropriately. Um, Great. All right. What do I do now? Uh, hold on. Randy B wants to say happy. Remember to put in the IO shield. Yes, we did. We didn't forget, uh -huh. and we haven't screwed up that Yeah, way. have a look. Okay. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> there you go. I, I put it in. in. Yeah. There it is. Yay! IO shield in. And I learned what an IO shield is, too. Which yeah. is awesome. Because I just, you know, I would uh, call it the component cover. I wasn't, um, the, I didn't the, realize it had an actual name. Like a, the port cover. The cover cover. cover. Yeah. The yeah, port cover. The cover cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Now. How Let's going? run power Ooh. to the motherboard. Okay. So um, why don't so we I'm start on the... That's the... You want to start with that guy, with the big guy? No, you you yeah. tell me what's a what's the most logical way to do this, given the orientation. Don't matter. That I have. The one that you touched was fine. I think this order okay. uh, doesn't really matter. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the twenty-eight pin connector, and as you can see on the motherboard, maybe you might have to turn the case so we can see it. Yeah. It's hidden behind the RAM me, uh, for us right now. It is. It is. Um, my apologies. Thank you for letting me know, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, how is that? Is that a good shot for you? Can you see that? Yep. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. Don't oh no. Again. AMD. Uh -oh. I swear to God. It's AMD, I baby. swear. It's either AMD oh. or like on FedEx or USPS. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is happening in real time. Too late now. We committed. We committed. And, we committed. Uh, you okay. I was gonna say, in... you sure we committed? <laughs> we do because if you want to see us put in the thirty three hundred X, I think we might want to do an, another stream. Maybe we'll see. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, the, I'm like, the new I'm motherboards, I'm two hours invested. Yeah. Yeah. The new motherboards come out next month. So maybe next month we'll do a B550 3300X. Yes. We'll see. Love it. Okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll okay. See. So, uh, okay. So on the now... connector, there should be a mm -hmm. little tab. Do you see the tab? Yep. That guy. And there should yeah. be a latch on the motherboard where that tab locks onto. Uh might be on the inside or is it on the outside it looks like it's on the outside this uh this is the slot correct yep that is the slot yeah uh it looks the tab, there should be like a uh, yeah it's like a little indent uh, not indentation uh little protrusion extrusion yeah a little protrusion yep extra yeah i'm sorry my bad extrusion protrusion um same same there you go <laughs> same same English first language is not mine. Uh, uh, you want to okay. wait uh, before so, you put it in. Make sure you butt all the uh -huh. connectors together. So you see that loose little pin? Yes. There might be like uh -huh. a like a L plastic piece. Just make sure it's there all is, close yeah. together. And it's all close. Yeah, it's all close in. Uh -huh. yeah, well, yeah. it doesn't really lock in. It doesn't have a it, no, no, it, lock. No, this power supply doesn't necessarily lock in. Others might have a that more. Just uh, roll. hold it together. Yeah, just hold it together and put it uh, into the uh, twenty-eight pin slot. You should push down. Now this part might feel a little weird. Like we can see the board flexing. Uh, you know, that's yeah. that's just like you can push on that's it a normal. little bit, but you don't want to like. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. You sometimes uh, I put my my hand underneath it uh, to just give okay. it a little well, bit of support while I'm pushing but... down. No, no, no. It's fine. I wasn't it's fine. super. Um, uh, I wasn't aggressive with it. So I, it looks seated and yeah. it feels seated. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we'll when the other boards are brand new. Right? No, no. It's gonna yeah. work. It's gonna work. Um, I've used this board a few times for different builds. So, um, you know, sometimes if it's a brand new board, it might be a little bit like the plastic might be harder to uh, push mm -hmm. in. So you might have to use a little bit more force than you want. Um, okay. So that's when you would put your finger underneath and, and try to hold the board up. Got it. Um, okay. So that's that good. Sense. We're good there. Uh, mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to the top right where the IO shield is and look for, there should be another power mm -hmm. connector up there, an eight pin. Yeah, this the eight pin the CPU. Yeah. Yep, and that should connect uh -huh. to an eight uh, the EPS connector, which we can't see. It's a little hidden behind the case. Let me let me just show you where I'm plugging it in. Yeah. This yes, one. Yes, right correct? in there. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And again, check Apologies check for. Uh, uh, they're right. Yeah. 
Let me see if I can position it so you can see. Yep. It's a, a little tricky because it's a little top heavy. I'm trying not to, trying to make it so the, the phone. Yeah, don't don't drop the into phone the... into the uh, into no, the. No, I know. I'm, that's, uh, I'm scared. So it's like I got it. I got it. Um, okay. So yes, there's that again. And that. Okay, it clicked into place quite nicely. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. There we right. go. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't the chip, by the way. It wasn't AMD. Um, okay. It wasn't the 3300X. So we're good. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. Okay. Oh, wells. Oh, well. Next time. There's always another time. Okay. Always. All right. So okay. looking good so far. I think uh, at, at this point, you can stand the case. Yeah. For now, let's stand the, let's stand the case up. Okay. because now we need to install our SSD. Mm -hmm. Let me turn it around so you can see. Yeah. Oh, the octopus cables are coming with it. All I right. know, the octopus cables, okay. I don't know what we're gonna do with that, <laughs> but hey, you know. That's fine. All right, yeah. let me adjust so you can see where I'm doing. Okay, SSD. Let's I'm gonna go to, I wanna go to your camera because it looks hilarious with your, uh, your, uh, what? your headlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Please laugh at me because I I'm laughing at myself right now. So it's thirsty work, and uh, it's funny, and it looks like I'm on a camping trip. Okay, <laughs> so now I take my SSD with my head-mounted lamp, yes, and uh, I pull it out of the box. Okay, Woo, baby. there it is. Oh, you baby. pop it open. Okay. All right. Now, uh, all right. Where do I put this guy? Yeah. So, um, right next to the power supply, that other big square to the right on the bottom oh, of yeah, the yeah, case, yeah. that mm -hmm. guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's called the drive caddy. And in there, you yep. can put in like uh, traditional hard drives, like a uh, what is it? A yeah. Three point, yeah. Three three point five inch hard drive point, and a two point yeah. five inch hard drive, mm -hmm. or you can even put an SSD, and that's what we're gonna do today. Um, cool. so you see, there's like a couple of tabs on the, uh, mm -hmm. on, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> on the caddy? A couple of tabs on the caddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like these guys. Yep. Yep. So squeeze those together and pull them out. Both of them? Yep. So the bottom one, we're actually mm -hmm. going to discard because I think that's where we're going to tuck okay. all of our cabling. And the okay. top one is where we're going to mount our uh, SSD to. Great. So, uh, so tilt it down. Let's see. Yeah. So take the SSD out of the case or mm -hmm. out of the packaging. Oh, it's got its own. It's got another bracket on it. Yeah, we're not going to put the bracket, but that bracket's there for um, if you're like pressure mounting the the SSD mm -hmm. to make it fit to two point five inches um, for like a external drive or something like that. Um, and if you uh -huh. look at the bottom, there are four holes, screw holes. Of your, holes, of your uh, SSD on the uh, flat bottom side. Oh, the flat, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Yep. My bad. Yep. I didn't, so those four I screw didn't holes, interpret it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Uh, those uh, screw on to the four screw holes on that caddy. Yes. You see okay. them right in the middle? Uh-huh. Uh, yep. The side yep. screws are for more traditional uh, mounting mechanisms, uh, but we're not using mm -hmm. those today. Uh, now, uh, I now, see you. It should be the other making... way, right? Yes. So uh, we want, yeah. you see those gold pins? We want those facing the back uh -huh. of the computer so we can yeah. run our cables to it. Yeah. I was like, that doesn't look right to have it facing the front because the tabs are going to stick out, right? Yeah. Yep. Hey, I caught myself. I caught myself. Okay, great. So um, these screws, uh, where do I find these ones? So these are the ones that are in the separate baggie. Uh, from the CPU case, or from the case, not CPU case. A separate baggie from the case. These ones? No, ones? Um, it was no, like a, there the, were two baggies the that thing. came in that fractal box, fractal design box. Oh, that's, yeah, 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 I know, I, yep. These ones, aha, uh -huh. the little ones. See, even with all of the, the uh, management of all of the components, it's still there's a lot of screws. 
still a lot of screws. There are a now, lot of screws, okay. but... There are so many screws. Okay, so these ones are Phillips head. Let's just double check that the same head will work. Or if I need to make it smaller. Right. Let's try, I'll try this one. So, okay, what's the best way to do it? Because obviously, like, I have to kind of hold it against or flip uh, it upside down or something. Put the screw in through the plastic and then just lift up the, uh -huh. the SSD and screw it in. Okay. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then the same principle, like the corner to corner equal tension. You can. Uh, maybe SSDs are maybe it's not as super. Important. No. Yeah. They're not. They're not fragile, or um, at least they're not susceptible to oh. like shock and stuff like traditional hard drives are. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. they're just you know non-mechanical flash storage, uh, so yeah. you can get away with any kind of thing. These screws aren't tightening anything inside the SSD; um, they're just mm -hmm. to keep it in place. Yeah, got it. Like in it's the right. past, I'm still I've been gonna really be lazy. gentle with it. <laughs> no, it's okay. In the past, I've been super lazy, and I actually just use double-sided tape <laughs> to, oh, to like just stick it to the back of the CPU. That's uh, uh, really the case, keep lazy. The case of CPU. <laughs> Super lazy. Okay. Yes, for sure. Also, I've been lazy. known to just leave them hanging, hanging in the back. Like they just connect no. to power and, and SATA. No. So, you know, if you're gonna do it, you yeah. wanna do it right. You know, like sorry, I wanna take my time, get it as close to close to perfect as I can for a first time, anyway. And there's like so many things along the way through this process that you've been so good at explaining that, you know. I really feel like a lot more confident because I swear, like at the start, you saw how nervous I was, right? You saw that I was like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. But now I think this is really, I mean, look, the proof is in the pudding when I turn it on, obviously, but I do feel a lot more at home now after having you having walked me through it so far that I, it's been really, really helpful. So yeah, I don't feel as scared anymore, which is good. <laughs> okay. I appreciate so now, the I amazingly kind thing? words. Yep, you can put that Oh, in. no, it's true. It's true because, like, I, a lot of people, you know, it can be really intimidating if you, you know, you want to try this, but you don't know where to start. So it's really helpful to have someone that has done it before that can walk you through it. And, like, especially who's someone who has specced it out because that, I think, is probably, like, putting it together, you know, it's intimidating, but, like, knowing where to start with, like, what you want to spec it out with and you know how to find the parts and stuff that's also can be intimidating too at least it yep. was for me back in the day when i did it way back when okay so my ssd is in um yeah many moons ago ssd is in what uh should i plug that in yeah so um let's get um in the in the motherboard box there should be some sata connectors uh Mm, yeah, there were. So, oh, I don't know if it was in the motherboard box. I think maybe you had them separately. You mean there are guys? some new ones? There are some new ones in the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Pick, pick your favorite. Cool. The shorter ones or the longer ones? Does it really matter? Uh, oh, they're both. They're both actually the same. Uh, they're they're all the same. one slightly longer. One slightly so, longer. So, so one of them, one of them has like an angled ninety degree connector. Uh, 90 I think the degree one you put connector. down. Yes, yes. No, this this one. Is this it? Yeah. Uh, you can use yeah. that one to plug it into the motherboard, um, and then that cable okay. will just run right to the back. Run. Yep. Um, okay. So uh, can you tilt up the... Uh, yeah. Sure can. Okay. Sure can. Um, is that the right angle? Do you need me to come down a little bit? Mm, more to the right. More to the right. There Got we it. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better? Okay. Yep. Okay. So this motherboard so, actually has a couple of connectors. So we can either use the ones uh -huh. that you're hovering right over on, on the bottom, very bottom left. Those ones? Uh, uh, yeah. So oh, those, the, these ones? That's, those, those are also, those are SATA connectors, but I think we're going to use the ones uh -huh. that you pointed to first. These ones. Okay. Got yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to use that one. So coming from right. uh, the back. Yeah. No, no, no. Other uh, coming from the back, like uh, stick the angled one through oh. the back of the yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Like, like so. Uh, okay. Coming through the so hole. Want... Oh, yes. Okay. That would make yep. sense. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Um, top this one or... So I'm trying to get the light so you can see. It's kind of a bit tricky in this angle. Hang on. I'm trying to... So I can see and you can see. Ah! <laughs> this is tricky. Oh, and then there's the, uh, the earbud falls out. Um, okay. Top one or bottom one? Uh, it doesn't it's matter. We can set the boot order. So whatever is most okay. comfortable for you right now. This one. Yep. And you push, push it in, in, it should have a little click. Yep. I heard the click. And actually cool. one thing that we should talk about is that those things only uh -huh. fit one way. Uh, do you have another yes, one it... on hand? Yep. Here, uh, let's point it, point it to your yeah. A, a camera. camera. Just point it to your a, a camera. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So on the front, do you see how it has like an L shape? Yes. Uh, no, no, uh, the, the connector, the front. The front. Yes. Yeah, if yes. you have to get the light in there. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know so if you there's can a very it tiny, home, but hopefully. Yeah. There's a very tiny L shape that will keep you from putting it in backwards. So that L shape is uh, mirrored on the board and it's also mirrored on the SSD. So you can't put it cool. in backwards. So don't try to force it in. It's a little small piece okay. of plastic. You could force uh -huh. it in, I think, if you pushed hard enough, but it should just click but, right in nice and easy. Yeah, I did. Fortunately, I had it the right way, so it did. Okay. Um, and so then the other side of this cable goes into the SSD, right? Yeah. And so right now do we can actually plug in. Do you want to do that now or should in, I? We, we can do that now. We can plug in the power and the SATA connector to the SSD. All right. Let me swing it around so you can see. Yep. All right. It's going to be a, I have to come down a little bit with the tripod. Sorry for the cables everywhere. Okay. Can you see that? Ish? <laughs> there's a, there's a yeah, lot of octopuses in the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I take this cable, the one that I just put into Here, the motherboard. Uh Take the caddy out. Uh, I just want to show the stream what uh, what the backside of oh, the yeah. SSD looks like. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. See the light on. That? Can you see Sorry. that? Sorry. There we go. My bad. Wrong button. You're okay. fine. There we go. That's okay. <laughs> you're doing such a good job remotely. i you're just like you're instructing me and switching cameras. I'm glad that's not me. <laughs> I just have to build uh -huh. the thing. <laughs> tilt, tilt it down a little, just a touch. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, uh, it might be the bit rate might be too low for us to see. There are two connectors, yeah, right? Maybe. There is mm -hmm. a yeah, longer one. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On that side, yeah. That longer one is power. And mm -hmm. then the shorter one is the SATA connector. Okay, and that's the and one again, coming from the motherboard, them, right? Yeah, and both of them have a mm -hmm. little plastic L, so the yep. both connectors only fit one way. Got it. Yes, I can see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the bitrate is too low for you to see. But maybe it's not. Yeah. But yeah, I can see the L, the L shape. There we go. That's cool. Yep. All right. So I'll put it back into place and then slot in. Yeah, I wouldn't push it in all the way. It. I would actually run the cable through, uh, ah, through the caddy. Okay. So then you can uh -huh. easily uh, plug it in on the other side. And then once everything's plugged in, you could uh, push it back into the into the camera. Oh, okay. So, ah, oh, so I can plug it in from this side. Yep. Cool. All right. Let's see. Okay. Does it click? It should click. Didn't, it didn't click. Hang on. Try again. That looks correct. Uh, it might not click. The L and the L. Oh, okay. It might not click. Okay, cool. I was waiting for it to it click. It should. It should, but it might not. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it might not. Um, yeah. I mean, it's in there. It's definitely in there. Okay. okay. So should I also Wait, uh, before run you... the power? In? Yep. Let's let's no. get some power. Okay. Yep. So let's look at the octopus. Uh -huh. <laughs> not these guys. <laughs> Uh, all right, octopus. Here oh, we wait, go. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Put that, put that not, back where it was. That's for the, that's no, that's going for back the uh, graphics card. Yep. All right. This one? Nope. Not that octopus. That's for nope. the front I.O. Connector. Not that octopus. 
All right. Nope. Not that the one. big one, the nasty looking one, the one that we don't want to look at. Yeah. This one? No, no, no. The ones you were looking at on no, the, no, on the, uh, that are just it's loose. All yep. Those side. guys. Those guys. I was guys. like, yeah, yeah, these can't be the right ones. Ah, okay. Which one? It is, unfortunately. Them? So, oh. uh, anyone that mm -hmm. looks like a Seda Power. So, on the end of, at the very end, yeah. there's like some big old Molex ones. Yes, not the, the ones with the, the four yeah. holes. Not those yeah. ones. Yeah, we're not using those. Uh, but, but we are the using Seda the thinner ones. Which ones. are the L shaped ones. Okay. Yep. Cool. So any of those ones that will fit. Um, yep. I think there are three okay. of them on that one string. There are. That they, they should all fit. Do you have a recommendation? Yeah. Should, I, should I do the one that's sort of the shortest one or medium or the longest one? It depends on how really... we're going to hide the cables um, okay. and if it, if it fits, you know. Hmm. I'll try with the shortest one. Yep. Let's see. Can we uh can we see you plug them in? Uh sure. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I was like, yeah, I'm just yeah. in my own world over here. Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. I mean, we're okay. so close. We're so close. So close. Um okay. A little bit. Oh, I just need to make sure that I actually was getting the alignment right because I've changed orientation and I got confused. Let me see. <laughs> oh God. No, 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 you're fine. I'm, I'm just uh, making sure I'm getting, yeah. I'm just gonna show the stream your A camera because it looks funny how you're like trying to hug the case and <laughs> try to get it, everything hug to- Hug the uh... case. Hug <laughs> the case. Yeah. This is. Gently, gently. Why is this the hardest part? Uh, it might be oh, you might have to not long flip it. Oh, then get the then, then get the other one on it. No, no, no. It's because the, the solder from the motherboard's not long enough to pull it all the way through. Oh, I'm just making I see. sure that I have the. There we go. Yeah. I got it. I just needed a little bit you more. Got it. Um, yeah, I just need a little bit more grip. Yeah, this yeah. one is still still feeling a little bit loose. Is that all right? Yeah, it I just keep pushing it in. Though. It is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't well, fit in any okay. other way. If it doesn't right, boot, we'll have to switch SATA cables, but okay. that's fine. You have a bunch. Okay, cool. All right. Click. So that's back in. Click. It's uh, all and back since in. you were tugging on, on the SATA cable, push in yeah, the SATA cable on the it. motherboard just to make sure that it's uh, on the motherboard. Yeah, just to make sure that it's still connected. Yes, still connected. Still good? Okay, yeah, good. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, Kath Alexi is ready for the next stage. Whew. Take a sip of water, Ooh. everybody. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We it's are, also warming uh, up. We are two... It is warming up. It's hot in here. It's uh, two and a half hours into our stream. Um, first time PC builder. Water is away from the, the case. Don't worry. Uh, she has done a, you know, a fair amount of stuff so far with thanks to Oliver, who has built many a PC in his time. And he's walking me through step by step. So um, I'm feeling good about everything so far. All right, so I've got the SSD in a uh, graphics card next. No, let's run. Right? No. Let's run the. Let's run all the extra cables that we need to run from the front uh, I/O of the case mm -hmm. and the case fans. Let's do that first because the graphics okay. card is really big yeah. and bulky and it's going to cover a mm -hmm. lot of the motherboard. Okay. Uh, so that'll be got the it. last thing we put in. Got it. Okay. Um, right. So to get uh, these buttons up here. Uh, so uh, okay. so let's swing around to the back. All the to the uh, all the uh, cables. Back, back, or side back. Uh, side back. Side back. <laughs> side back. Yeah. Sorry, I was like, there's no cables at the back, back. Okay. Doo -doo. Surprisingly, there's almost nothing going on in the backpack. <laughs> yes. Surprise! Surprise! Um, all right. So normally, uh, if you're an experienced builder, this wouldn't take probably two and a half hours. Well, it's two hours really so far, just because we, we've had a lot of conversation time explaining, asking questions. So normally it would be a little bit faster than this, um, but we wanted to go slow and do everything step by step. So, uh, yeah, you can follow along. 
All right. I mean, it's also we like it's time. your first time. Nice and easy. Yeah. There's no need to rush nice through and it. Easy. Exactly. I don't want to rush it. I want to do it like correctly. So hopefully it boots first time. So yeah. And of course the goal okay. is to, the goal is to like power to boot into the BIOS first button press. That is the goal, <laughs> That's which the I goal. think we're close to. Hopefully. Okay. I mean, you never know. You never know. We could be here until like five o'clock trying to figure out what went wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Whew. Okay. Warm in the San Francisco so warm. today. Warm. Okay. Ooh. So warm. All right. Okay. What uh what's next? In uh so let's cables? grab that string of cables. Uh here, why don't we put can you this pull one. me out a little bit? You're a little zoomed in. Yeah. Uh, on the, yes, I am yeah, yeah. indeed. Okay. I am indeed. Okay. okay. So if so you'd th like this at this point, been... those yeah. are all done. We can actually tuck those at the very bottom underneath the SSD just to hide them and any yep. extra power cables. Uh, there is the cable oh, that's okay. still going to the GPU, to the graphics card. So you want to make sure uh -huh. that's still uh, feeding through. But none of uh, none the of these. Like, these ones are these no. ones are done, right? I can tuck those. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those will be for extra hard drives. If you want to add another hard drive, you'd have to add power to it, and so you have all those uh -huh. cables there. It looks like this power Quite supply it. could handle I don't know, like six six hard drives. <laughs> I guess, Quite a few. If you really wanted to. Yeah. All right. I'm tucking under the SSD. Yeah. Let's bring it through so it's out of the way. But yeah, there's we're a, just trying to get this stuff a, figured it is, out. It is such a mess, though. A mess of cables. Uh, okay. Let's do. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So many. So many. Including these. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Faulkner is asking if you're from England. No, I'm Australian, mate. <laughs> but I live in San Francisco. Um, I'm, I'm an Aussie, true and true. But I love being in the Bay Area. Thanks for the question. I hope you're yeah. having a good day. Todd Ward. And thanks for watching. Uh, Todd Ward is asking um, about uh, the M.2 drive, if it would be easier. Yes, it'd be so much easier because... <laughs> an M. An M. Two hard drive just plugs in with uh, just straight into the motherboard, um, but for budget mm -hmm. reasons, right? We're trying to stay under six hundred bucks. We went with a SATA-driven yeah. SSD uh, instead mm -hmm. of a, uh, an M. Two NVMe drive. Okay, all the cables are. Um, are whew, 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 and then whew, Steve Reno is asking what an M. Two is. Uh, an M. Two drive is just uh, a. Uh, a different type of connector for uh, a solid state drive. So what we have in here is a SATA connected uh, SSD and an NVMe drive uh, is just a different type of connector that connects straight to the motherboard. I'll just keep it simple as that. There are yeah. speed and performance gains when plugging in straight into the motherboard. You have a direct lane to the CPU. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too technical. Leave it right there. I don't want to get too yeah. too too much. Into don't that. say too technical because then it's... Uh, no, 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 I mean... no, no. no. Yeah, not for a beginner, but I, I think for people that are watching this that are intrigued and like want to sort of do a deeper dive, go check out um, Oliver's done a great video on a like a much more complex, much more gaming workhorse PC. Um, and you can find that on our How to Do It All channel. So just type in How to Do It All, build a PC, and you'll find it. Um, it's a really, really good video, so go check it out. But this one's definitely for beginners like me. So it's a little bit more basic and uh, not going to get too technical, just enough to get everything working and... You know, all of us being great keep... that he's specced everything out. But I like how you keep plugging that 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 video. <laughs> it's a good video. I I like it. I like it. Um, also, uh... Uh, my AirPods are just like oh, running out of battery. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Okay, but I have it. I have another backup pair, so we're, we're good. You got a backup? Um, okay. I have a backup pair. Yes, definitely. Uh, so let's okay. uh, let's keep going. All right, so there should be a, a string of cables coming from the top of the case. Uh, a string very, of cables. Very, very top. These, yes, these, these ones. Yep. That guy. Yep. So those are mm -hmm. all um, front I.O. connectors. So we're going to plug yep. those in now. So you see the little small, two small holes uh, over to the right under the fractal design. Uh, I think it says fractal design. Yep. Those, those guys. These ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. You're going to run those cables through there. Uh, you might want to untie the zip tie that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. 
Um, does it matter see. which let hole starts the second? Let me see if I can remember. So uh, let's pull them out individually. So mm -hmm. the small ones that are super loose, yeah, yeah those uh, those hold? go on the left yeah. hole. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Left hole. Okay. Left uh, hole. Then we have the HD audio. Uh, that one I think goes on the right. Okay. USB could probably go in either. So those those two are USB connectors. Both USB, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I think they matter. both go. Uh, no, right put them in the left one though. Let's okay. let's put them in the left one. Sounds good. All right. Um, okay, now swing it around. You want to see what I'm doing, right? Yep. Swing it around. Swing it around, baby. Okay. Cool. It's coming a little closer. All right. This is the part I've been Alrighty. drawing. I, I'm not Why? excited about this. Why? Uh, okay, so let's start, with, let's start with the easy ones. Let's start with the easy ones. Yeah. So what do you have there in your hand? Uh, first one, USB, the small one, not the not the blue. That's USB 3, right? Yeah. yeah. So, ah, I recognize well, that. Okay. Is, so is it labeled USB. as USB on there? Yes, on the, this on the... small one, it says USB. Can you I mean, it? on the motherboard. On the motherboard. Uh, where would that be? Where would that be? It would be, so along the bottom, you see all those pins that are yeah. sticking out? These are oh, all yeah, the connectors yeah. that we're USB. about to attach. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's tiny. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, my head's in the way. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. I can see that these ones, these ones, they are USB 3, 4, USB 5, 6, uh, and then U3 something, something. Okay, so I'm assuming that. Uh, uh, so if you, so let's see, what do you want to start with? You want to start with the USB C uh, or a 3.0? Yeah, sure. Works for me. Okay. So that one's easy. It's a big, huge connector. I actually don't like it because it's uh -huh. so thick that it makes it difficult to manage. Okay. Um, but it does go yeah. in one way, as you can see. There's like a little lip or like a like mm -hmm. a T. Yeah, there's a little um, nodule there. Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little, mm -hmm. a little nub that will mm -hmm. only fit one way into the motherboard. And it goes into this one, right? Yep, it should be labeled USB uh, three, three point two, three point oh, something like that. Uh, three USB three four USB five six, but it looks like this one is only going to fit in this slot. That's fine. It's the yeah. It's it's the only one that's going to fit. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that one's in. Okay, awesome. Uh -huh. All right. Let's grab Regular the next USB. one. What's that one? Mm -hmm. Regular USB. Uh, does that fit in only one way? Like if you look at the front, uh, uh, the, the it's pins? got um, it's got a nine plugs, so yes, it does only fit one way. Yeah. But so it, do, do I put and... it in this one or this one? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um. It, this this board has room for two USB 2.0 ports. Our case only has one, so uh -huh. plug it on in. There we go. Plugged in. Okay. Todd Ward, hate, hate, right. hate, hate. Front panel connectors, me too. I hate, 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 hate. hate. <laughs> 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 um, okay, front panel, F panel. Looks like it's on this side. I know. Let's do that one yeah. last. Hold on. I'm trying to avoid that oh, one okay. so hard. There's okay, the uh, audio mind. connector. Uh, HD audio. Yeah, audio. Uh, does it go in AAFP or C or no, not com. AF AAFP. No. I think so. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I believe it's, it's I mean, the one that only guess. fits. <laughs> yeah, it looks so. like it's the that's only one the only that fits. Yeah, fit. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it's the only one there. Okay. AFP Here audio am, front like, panel. There we go. AFP stands know. for audio I'm front panel, here. Lexi. I got it. I'm the beginner here, and I guess that that's where it goes because it's labeled like that. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Please be gentle to me, chat. Oh. I messed up and I forgot. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're doing such a good job. This is so helpful because, like, yeah, it's intimidating, all this stuff. It's like, it's okay. I'm sure, the, the you know, people out there have built PCs before. You've done stuff in a different order and, you know, 
got the accidental wrong holes once in a, once in a while. It's okay. It's how you learn. That's all right. But we're like we're very yeah. you know this is a, this is beginners and like we know we're not experts. This is like how you know most of us are going to approach this. So you know we're just having some fun and uh, yeah. you know making something that's going to be that's going to work this time hopefully. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm hopefully. an idiot. It's <laughs> camping light on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but it's helping so much. I think I, it's helping good, so much. Good, good. I know. I'm so glad that you can actually see what I'm doing. All right. Uh, now, are we going to tackle these front panel cables? Yeah. You so all the way on the right. Things? So there's some, there's some super, super, super small labels at the bottom, yeah. like at the very bottom of yeah. the motherboard. Uh huh. And yeah, there's, HDD, there's some tiny power, LED, reset button power yeah whoops i'm sorry i've been I knocking the camera with Hold my on. big head that's okay okay i'm looking for my notes on how to um, how that went in and i don't have them so this is gonna power, be fun <laughs> reset yeah well i mean i'm basically just gonna follow like match each uh, label to the right hole yeah um yeah. but it is so why don't we try with the because they're so small it is it is incredibly small we won't be able to get this oh on camera God. just letting everyone know i know um, sorry sorry guys in, in the uh, in the <laughs> motherboard manual, yeah. Oh, Lexi. Yes. In the motherboard manual, there <laughs> there there usually is a list of the, actually, but this one doesn't have it. I looked it up. It doesn't Are you have serious? The, the, I did. Yeah. No, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious? No. Serial port connect front audio panel digital audio connector PCI Express. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> it just says like oh, like front IO or whatever front front power. It's okay. Okay, let's do this. We got this. Yeah. So on the top left, I believe <laughs> it is HD HDD light. I believe top left plus HDD plus uh, HDD yeah. minus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So plug those in that are labeled HDD plus HDD minus. Yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna do. HDD LED. Yeah, no, no. Power, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. I think so it's I HDD just right? Vertical, right? Uh, on the top, very top top left of those uh i think nine connectors yeah uh yeah nine uh-huh yep so top left so should I'm be like hd plus or minus uh-huh yeah so plug that in yeah um vertical or horizontal it looks like it's uh horizontal uh to the right so uh horizontal yeah that's what i was gonna do okay yeah. hdd led in all right Okay. Then. Oh, What's the I'm so underneath? sorry. I'm blocking Under, your view. It's okay. Uh, power. But that looks like it's on the top. Power, it looks like yeah, it's power, the power is on the, the bottom. Yeah. Power to so the right the... should be to the right of the of the HDD lights. Uh, uh, no, it goes HDD. Uh, oh, but uh, the orientation is confusing. Maybe it is. No, the orientation so is terrible. Power at the top and then HDD underneath it. That's what this is yes. telling me. Okay, cool. Power SW. Woohoo. Wow, this is tiny. You think that they would yeah. be able to make it a little bit more intuitive, huh? You'd think, okay. Lexi, but no. But no. Okay. All right. I'm so, uh, it's so difficult. Okay, LED. Plus and minus then, next to that. Um, it should be on the bottom. LED. So now we should be on the bottom row. Yes, 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 yes. Bottom row. Um, oh, but which order is it? Plus first. Oh, this is so difficult to see. Uh, I can't see if it's plus first or minus first. I would gather that is the order in which the plugs are in. Yes. Thank you. Ugh. I, don't I have know a how feeling we'll be small... we'll be coming back to this. <laughs> <laughs> My old mate. <sighs> the mini plugs. All right. All right. And then finally, uh, reset button. What's this? Reset SW. Is reset under is power? For... Right. It should be uh, under power, no. I think. No, no? it's not. Mm -mm. It's at the end. Is it? <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait. Oh, so, so, 
Yeah, so all four, all four should be lined up. That extra pin on the right isn't used. Yeah. Yep. There, there, that's perfect. That's exactly what it's going to do now. Okay. Let me just uh, get the orientation right. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. I am sweating. I don't know about you, but I am sweating. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, do you want to <laughs> have a look at? Do you want to recap the order for now? What? Yes. What is on the? Yeah. Okay, so uh, USB, USB 3. Um, and then I had the, uh, what was that one underneath? Uh, I've forgotten what that one was. Uh, <laughs> something. Uh, power, power and reset at the top, and then underneath was the um, uh, HD, LED. HDD, LED and then for HD on the, the hard left. drive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the rough right. order of what it was. You Let's can't cross even our see fingers on the camera. No, All right. It's Ooh. the worst. That's the worst. <gasps> okay. Sounds good. All right. What do we have left? Oh, uh, okay. fans. We need to run fans. Fan. Plug in our fans. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So there's still some right, zip tie or uh, yeah, some tied up fans over there uh, on the right side, right next to the fans. Yes. They're coming out. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Those yeah, guys. these guys. Yeah. So and undo that tie. Uh huh. So this is where it's going to get a little janky, and this is mainly because uh, we're using the fans that are coming with the case, and we don't have uh -huh. a, a fan controller. So if you look right. on the motherboard, there are two uh -huh. uh, case fan headers. One is near the CPU cooler header that we plugged in at the very beginning of the build, at the very top. All the way up here, fan two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then there's so one another one to there. the left of the CPU. Yep, one goes up there, and again, it fits only oh. one way. Yeah. I know. Does it matter uh, which cable goes in which order? Like, does yeah, this there's, one, does there, it matter that, yeah? There's, okay, uh, so. Doesn't matter which fan, no. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. But remember, it only goes in one way. Uh, Lexi, do you mind tilting uh -huh. the camera up, your B-cam? Yeah, of course. There we go. Only goes in one way. Yeah, there should be That's... like a, a piece of plastic that only uh -huh. lets it go yes. uh, in one there direction. There sure is, yeah, it definitely does. All right, and then the second one is, you said it was underneath? To the, to the left of the watch battery. Do you see the CMOS battery? Oh yeah, uh-huh. Cha fan one. Yep. Chaffin. Chaffin. And a chaffin. Chaffin. Now, ideally, uh, we would run these through the back okay. for cable management. Right. But uh -huh. um, the one next to the CMOS doesn't reach. Like, I try to run it underneath, like, where the USB cables came through, like, through the bottom. Yeah, and doesn't go up. Fair enough. Okay. Actually, well, actually, it does. You'll need to. Well, yeah. Do you want to route them through the back just to keep really. it all nice and tidy? <laughs> no? I mean, okay. I can. Uh, I mean, I totally can. If you want me to, uh, I, I just thought maybe should we just plug it all in and then cable main, cable manage, or uh, what would you do with the case fans? Let's put them in because the graphics card is going to cover. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so do you want me to yeah. unplug it and then move them? Okay. Yeah, try to route them through the back and out the front, just to keep it nice and clean. Trying to keep it nice and tidy. Right, right. and then for no like, reason this hole? other than aesthetics. Uh, it could be this that hole, hole, or it could be through the hole through the top. Oh yeah, okay, there's one up there. Cool. All right. Steve Reno is asking, again. should I spend the extra money on an SSD drive rather than a basic HD on a new desktop tower? Yes, absolutely. At the very yes. least, I would recommend getting a smaller SSD that is within your budget, um, and then get a hard drive. Uh, that stores more data. Um, so, you know, traditional hard drives, they become really cheap these days. Uh, you probably get like a terabyte or two for 60 bucks, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And I would use your Windows, I would install Windows on the SSD. So if you can only, you know, if your budget only allows for a 256 gigabyte SSD, um, then get that, put Windows on it, and then put everything else on the hard drive. Uh, you could also, like, I would recommend at least 500 gigs these days for an SSD, um, just because of how big programs are getting, or games, mm -hmm. especially games. Games are huge. Like, one thing that I would first upgrade on this machine isn't the CPU, it isn't the graphics card, 
it's definitely the SSD. You're going to need more storage. Like I think Modern Warfare yeah. is like 100 gigs, which is insane. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want more storage if you're going to play more games, for sure. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's what are we do doing? It. Okay, so I've rerouted everything. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so I plugged everything back in through the back. Yeah. Okay. So uh, on the, uh, let's see, do we have any other parts left? Is that it? Power fans, front IO, motherboard power. Uh, are we at the graphics card? Is this it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think there's anything else that needs plugging in. Nope. Yeah, we plugged everything okay. in, I think. Just, we just have so the rest go. of the random octopus cables, right? Yeah, we, we the, have to try to this, hide those. It's okay. Yeah, well, it's okay. This is yep. for the graphic Where about, card, right? Okay. Yep. So um, let's look at the thumb screws on the PCIe covers, plate covers on the left. It's those black, uh, the black thing on the left of the case. Yep. These? So we're going to yep. take off the second and third one. Taking off number two. Whoops, <laughs> it fell out because it's not magnetized uh, very well. I will fix that. No. If I if I I should have tested that earlier, so I could have tried to remagnetize it. Whoops. <laughs> you should have warned me that that was going to fall out like that. Okay. Sorry. I was reading comments. Okay. No, Someone says that Sprank <laughs> Buddha says we're going to have to revisit that front panel section. I agree. I think we're we're boned. We'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Well, we'll we'll, we'll work it out. That's going to be the fun part, isn't it? It's yeah. so that they're so small. Those little um, those little ports. They're tiny. Okay, so I've taken off uh, screw two and three and that panel there, second panel. And you've taken out off. both of the uh, both of the uh, covers. Both of the screws. Uh, no, sorry, you wanted uh. Then it means you want screws oh, no, no. two, three, and four to come out. No, 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 oh, just two and three. Oh, oh. there you oh, go. Oh, okay, there's two yeah, yeah. Yes, there you go. You're good. Because uh, one fell out. There you go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. And then on the PCIe slot, make sure it's unlocked. So at the very back of that long plastic strip, you see like a tab. Mm, the long plastic strip. So the long strip. gray plastic uh, strip on the motherboard uh yes sorry yep that yes one. my bad yep, i was looking right here <laughs> yeah that that's one. Okay. yeah that's unlocked so okay. yeah okay so that means it's pressed down and unlocked oh uh, you want it so that's locked that's unlocked right yeah uh down. locked is up and down is unlocked yes. locked unlocked right yep yep okay and then there's Just also checking. so you see that that uh that fan connector Yes. Yep, you're gonna have to push that under the under the graphics card. It's not ideal, but just okay. make sure that's that's under it. Yep. I'll, oh, I wouldn't okay, stretch yep. it. I would just push it right under where no, it's at okay. right now. Yep. Just keep okay. it flat. Oh, but not covering the 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 uh, the PCIe slot. I know yep. that's it's gonna be yep. tricky. Like, kind of have to yep. sit like that. All right. Yeah. Well, you I'll did tell honest, me to route the cable through the back, so. <laughs> I did. It's the only way it's going to fit. I'll be honest, it's super jank, but to sort of try to keep the uh, cable management managed, uh, yeah. we'll do it. It's a little janky. I'm, it's I'm just going to we'll, swap, we'll, we'll, uh, swap the earbuds. Swatch, me swapping one. earbuds? So I'm swapping earbuds because okay. uh, they've, they've gone. They've gone. It's true. Uh, let's see. Uh, any questions that we haven't answered on the stream? I don't know if they're connected now. <laughs> uh, uh, I hear you through your phone. Oh. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the uh, the input. Uh, okay. Because they didn't automatically connect. Hello. I hear you. Do you hear it? I hear you through the phone still. I think. Are we working? Okay, I can hear you again, finally. You can hear me? We're good? Yes, good, good. I'll just crank the volume up a little bit. There's wow, a little seamless, Lexi. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, 
uh, the AirPods don't give me the uh, full four and a half hours of uh, listen time anymore, unfortunately. Uh, AirPods Pro, that is. Okay, back to the originals. Um, all right. Now what do we do? All right, so we're let's open up the uh, RX 570 mm -hmm. with eight gigabytes of uh, DDR. I don't know what DDR. DDR4 RAM. Mm -hmm. What's it say on the box? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, good point. I will look at the front of the box for you. Uh, no, it doesn't say on the front of the box. Where it's fine. It's got eight gigs of VRAM. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well. That's fine. Oh yeah, sorry. Eight gig. There it says right there. Eight G. Eight G. Yep. Eight G. Oh, and it's right on the front. I'm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're like three hours into this. My comprehension I skills uh, leave I something to be desired. Okay. Um, that's good. Okay. So. Woof. Here we go. Ugh. Move my tripod. Complete Anime B Brandom's GDD GDD GDDR5 RAM. Thank you so much for letting me know about that. <laughs> All right, am I opening this up? Yep, open, open it up. Way. Yep. Ooh. All right, is this like the motherboard? I should not touch it on the base, right? Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, Yep, try not to touch it on the back of the, of the PCB where all those connectors uh -huh. are. Yeah. Um, also a note about the packaging here. Um, that anti-static bag, you'd never okay. want to lay components on top of it uh, okay. because there's a lot of static charge on the top of those. Some people will try to like oh. put those as a safekeeping. You're better off putting it on top of the uh, cardboard box or even okay. just straight onto your work surface. Mm -hmm. So don't don't put that, that anti-static thing is protecting, is keeping static yeah. out from the inside and keeping it all on the, on the outside. Okay, so I should set this aside. Yeah, I just put that on the floor or whatever. It's fine. Uh, I'll just put it over here. Another okay. surface. Okay, so not touching the base, just the yeah. sides. Um, okay. So you want to check uh, on the bottom of the card where the, uh, mm -hmm. the the connectors are, that there's no plastic. Yep, see, there is a plastic cover on it for protection. Let's make sure to take that off. Yep, you want to peel that off. And you oh, want to avoid okay. touching the gold components. Like, don't put your finger grease on them because, yeah. I mean, you can, but just don't. No, no. You know? I'm, I'm just holding the You want to keep the, the contacts plastic. good. Yeah, 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 I'm holding the plastic. I'm not touching the gold. And I'm just uh, holding yep. onto the side. Yeah. Yeah. So, doing my best. Yes, my fingers are greasy. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> not yours. It's everyone's fingers. I know, fingers. everybody. We all everybody. create finger grease. <laughs> Everyone makes finger grease. It's okay. Um, okay. Do you mind tilting right. the camera up so we can see you yeah. uh, insert this? Sure. Coming a little closer. Apologies for the shaky camera move as I'm moving the camera. All right. <sighs> Moment of truth. Um, okay. So I need to basically put that in that slot and then this at the back, essentially. Yep. And make sure that the, uh, so there's some tabs on, on the back, on the left of it. The uh, Yes. Yeah. The, the like can... metal aluminum plates. Yep. Uh, on the left, uh, those tabs that are sticking out left. Those teeth. Oh, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Those guys. Those are going to mm -hmm. slot in where the covers were. Oh, yeah. OK. Yep. Oof. Yep. So it's a little difficult to try to line everything up. You got like the two covers or the two. Uh... Actually, it looks like yeah. you got it. Uh... Oh, wow. Like that? Uh, push in and make sure that the uh, tab locks, that tab that we unlocked. Yep. All good? Yep. I think it's locked, yeah. All right. Uh, so you want to take the thumb screws and screw in uh, the drive, to, or the uh, drive, the uh, video card? Yes. Uh, these ones that I uh, just took out of the back, right? Yep. Except I want to screw it in here. There's only yep. one that's going to secure it. Is that right? Uh, the, there's like the top one as well also secures it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it will kind of yeah. secure it, actually. You're right. Kind of. Um, yeah, it yeah, just doesn't of. look. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, I'll show you. Yeah. You can see that, like, it doesn't fully. Um... Oh, 
See the magnetic uh -oh. screwdriver. Uh -oh. That is not. It's okay. I'll just get it started with my hand. Oh, this one's tricky, isn't it? This is going to be a. This is going to be the pain point for me. Is literally putting in the screws. Oh, last minute. Last minute one. I need two hands. Here we go. Do, 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 do. At, at this point, you could also lift up the the card a little bit higher. Like if you look at the mm -hmm. back, um, the the ports on the backpack. Yep. Uh, does it look like an HDMI or a, or a DisplayPort cable will fit nice and easy? Mm, let's bring it down a little bit so you can see. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks. Good. I think it will. Like if I take off yeah. the cover, you mean? Uh oh. Oh well, the thing is that. Oh no, yeah, it, it does. There you go, like that. Okay, okay. Should I take the cover? Um, at off this now? point, you can. Um, at this point, if you feel that the that the video connectors are covered by that uh by that plate, you can sort of yeah. bend the card down ever so slightly within the range yeah, of down. the yeah. uh, thumb screws. Mm -hmm. So that you have more wiggle oh, room I to see. plug yeah. in the cables. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Do you mind showing us? Yeah, just a second. Let me just get the screw seated in. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to talk about, um, there's a little bit in the chat. I've been sort of taking a look over at it. Um, a lot of people are asking about grounding. Uh, you and I had a mm -hmm. conversation about this if we wanted to discuss uh, grounding on the stream. Um, you could have a static charge and, uh, sorry, you could have a static charge and you can accidentally touch any component on your case and ruin it. Yep. What Lexi's working on, she's got a hardwood floor. She's not creating any static right now. She's barefoot. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in an environment that has a carpet or if you're like, uh, like I used to live in Arizona and everything generated a ton of static in the, in the dry heat. Um, so when I built my PC in Arizona, um, I did use an anti-static wrist strap. Um, and the appropriate way to use it is not by connecting the strap to the case, but actually connecting it to the power supply and then plugging in the power supply into an outlet. Um, what this yeah. did is it connected ground or the ground pin from the outlet into the power supply. And then you, you know, you clipped the, um, the anti-static wrist strap to the power supply. So you were grounded immediately, you know, from right. your wrist to the power supply and then out to the outlet that's on ground. You wouldn't have to turn on the power supply. You don't switch it on. It just needs to be connected to ground. Um, mm -hmm. So that's, what I would recommend if you're living in a high humidity, uh, I'm not low humidity or um, what do you call it? Really dry environment, basically, where there's yeah. actually a lot of static. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Oh, I think my AirPods died. Do you hear me well? Yeah, still? I know. Mine just, do you have a backup? <laughs> no, I'm going to charge one ear, though, I think. Yeah, charge one ear, and then you can keep swapping them in and out. Little hack for you. Yeah. Um, okay, still hear me? Sounding good. I still hear right. you. Do you I'm, still hear me? Yeah, I sure do. Okay. This okay, is, um, cool. yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about the positioning. It went in really nicely. Um, and okay. I, I did configure it. So hopefully the, you know, it's clear to, I can definitely pull those ports off. Okay. Sorry. The covers on the ports on the back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hopefully so it's uh, now we enough can... to be able to plug in the monitor. Yeah. Okay. It should be. We should be yeah. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now uh, we can plug in the power to the video. Oh, <gasps> yes. Sorry, I got really excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So VGA, uh, which which one? This. Uh, it doesn't matter. Pick whichever one. Or... Okay. This doesn't matter. Pick one whichever time. you can hide the cable and cable manage from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, where does it, oh, it plugs around here, this, oh, in there? Yep, right up there. And I think there's the tab. I think I can see it from here is right on yeah. top. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, sure is like that. Click, 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 click. All good? Okay. Yeah. I actually seated it a little bit more firmly in there. 
There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, Lexi, look around your table. Uh, Is there anything that yeah. we missed? Um, let's take a look. I don't think there's anything glaringly missing. There's just some extra screws in the bag. Sorry. That's fine. There'll be tons Amateur of extra screws. Camera work here. Yeah, there's lots of extra screws. Um, there's a couple of extra SATA cables. These are the ones, right? Yep. But I don't need those. Yeah. Um, yep. that, There'll I always think... be extra cables because okay. you'll like it's for expansion, right? With PCs, you can either add or remove parts. Right. So there'll always be some expansion. Okay. Camping light can come off. Yes, yeah, so All right, far Lexi. until I need to drive back in. Okay. All right, what should I do now? Okay. Ooh. I think we're ready to turn it on. So a superstition oh. of PC building is that you never put the covers, the side panel covers on until uh -huh. everything is working. So we're going to leave yeah, we're gonna leave everything off, open. Then... Yep. And then let's bring the monitor in too and the mouse and keyboard and okay. everything. So yep. we can test things out and I hope it turns on. <laughs> hope to God that it turns on. Okay. All right, let's bring in the uh, Jack Sleep a worm wants to know how much this costs. It should be about 600, 630, depending on um, what's available in stock right now. Uh, so luckily we just got a delivery of the Gigabyte RX 570. Um, which uh, was a pretty good deal, I believe, on Newegg right now, and the comment and the link should be in the description. Um, we're using a Ryzen 5 1600 AF with uh, that costs about $85 if you can find it at that price. If not, I would actually recommend getting a 3300X. Um, it clocks higher and it'll be better for uh, games, uh, single core gaming. Uh, so that'll be a lot better for that one than the 1600 AF. Uh, if you're doing like video editing, then the 1600 AF has more cores. Uh, so it can do more processes at the same time. So I'd recommend that one. Or if you're like streaming or thinking about streaming on the same gaming machine, could do that. Um, our motherboard was the Asus Prime B450 uh, micro ATX board, um, which has consistently be, been 80 bucks for like the last two months. So it's a pretty decent board. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM from Crucial, uh, a 500 gig SSD from Crucial. Again, the MX500, both of those uh, are packaged for about 70 bucks. Um, they always go on sale though. So if you're a little bit patient and you're shopping for SSDs, um, a great website to go to is like pcpartpicker.com. Um, and they sort of have a history of the pricing of the, uh, of the parts on there and different uh, retail locations. So it could be like Best Buy or um, Newegg or Amazon or whatever, Adorama, b &H, they have all those listed on there as well. Um, our power supply is a 500 uh, GD power supply from EVGA. It's an 80 plus gold power supply. Uh, just a note on those gold ratings, like you might see like platinum, gold, silver. Um, they don't represent uh, a better power supply. They just sort of tell you how efficient it is at using power. Uh, and then the okay. case that we're using is a fractal design focus G. What you, what's going on over there? Is a... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I just dropped something. It wasn't. It wasn't essential. It wasn't part of the PC. My bad. It's all right. Uh, a fractal design focus G case. That's all right. Um, it's fine. It the white one that we're sorry. The, the white one we're using is out of stock um, or is being sold by a reseller on one of the websites. I saw it for like a hundred bucks. I wouldn't pay a hundred bucks for it. Um, it's not the MSRP. Um, so uh, I looked around, I saw that the black and gray one was 66 bucks at Walmart. That was last night. I haven't had a chance to check that today. Um, but if you go to, to Walmart, or I think even Amazon had it, or was it, it maybe Best Buy? I don't know. Uh, Fractal Design, Focus G, variety of colors, um, like white, black, black and gray. There's like a blue one. There was a red one that I wanted to get for, you know, CNET branding purposes. Um, <laughs> but we didn't get that one because it wasn't in stock anyway. Um, so yeah, so I think... I went through all the parts that we have. Any more questions? Yeah. I think can I just stand it on a piece of wood to avoid static? Uh, Kid Topical wants to know if he can put his PC building on wood to avoid static. I think so. I wouldn't quote me on that. Um, yeah, I don't I, see why not. It sounds like you need to do a bit more research, I think, on that one. I mean, 
Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a tough question. I think it's going to be very dependent on the environment too. But, yeah, do a bit more a bit more reading, I think, on that one. I don't, I don't know if we could say for sure. <laughs> we don't yeah, want to be responsible. Yeah, I can't say for sure. You. Yeah. <laughs> Anti-static wristbands are cheap on Amazon. Order yeah. one and you know, you'll have a power supply. Again, connect it. Go from, you know, the little metal connector on your wrist to the power supply. Clip it on some part metal of the power supply. And then be sure to plug in the power supply into an outlet and that will ground you before you start touching your components. So you should be good on that. Anything else? Let me look at All live right. chat here. Thirty three hundred X is is legit. Yes. Uh thirty three hundred X is something that we really, 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 really wanted to use. Um unfortunately it just didn't get here on time. Um, AMD tried their best to send it over uh, for us. You can still pre-order it uh, on VNH, I believe. Uh, and it's a great trip. I actually recommend it. For, if you're doing gaming at this price range, 3300X is, 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 is good. You'd be solid. Uh, okay. That was perfect timing because I've plugged everything in now. Um, <laughs> monitor, keyboard, mouse, um, power supply to the PC. Um, oh gosh, I'm kind of nervous about this. I mean, I have faith, uh, do you want to back up your your uh, your B yeah, cam so I'm we can see the monitor and everything? I'm definitely going to just get it a little bit further out so you can all see. After all this, make sure. Let's see. Um, can you see my B cam? It looks like. Yes. Uh, it's a right. little, it's still screen, a little it's frozen. Hang on. No, no, I see. I got it. I oh. got it now. Yeah, you you're go. good. You're good. Okay. Your B cam is live. Is she using cool. VGA? Uh, what cable are you using, Lexi? Uh, I played in HDMI. To... Was that, is that correct? HDMI? Or should I do VGA? Should I do, uh, should I do VGA? Uh, um, do DisplayPort. Our graphics card DisplayPort. doesn't have a VGA oh. connector. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, one a... thing actually. Can we look at the backpack of it? Can you bring the B cam around? There's an important yeah. thing that I need to talk about. I use, okay, sorry, I, I must have, I plugged in the HDMI, not the display port. Just to clarify, this is the display port, right? This one, if you're looking on B cam? Yep, yep, that is yep. display port. So I plugged in the HDMI, so I'll unplug that and then I'll plug in the display port. Good catch. Uh, grab that guy out. And yeah, and once I plug this in, I will bring the camera around so you can all see. Thanks for bearing with me. All right. It's my singing song. Lexi, you're uh, so close. I can't believe we did it. It only took us three hours. <laughs> it only took us three hours. Oh, Which actually isn't three? that bad for first build. It's not yeah. that bad. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so uh, display port I'm putting into the um, graphics card at the back, correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, it fit. Yes. It has a good clearance. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to find the display port. It's the one that has the D on it, right? D logo? Yeah. Yep. D. Okay. All right. Now, what did you want me to do? Bring the camera around to show you the back? Yep. Just have an important note about the back of the uh, about the back of the computer. Nope. So just a note. So if you look up a little bit higher, uh, mm -hmm. there's an HDMI port coming out of the motherboard. Yeah. The chip that we're using, the sixteen, the Ryzen five sixteen hundred or the Ryzen three thirty three hundred X, don't have integrated graphics. So if you plug in okay. an HDMI into the back of the motherboard, you're not gonna get a video signal out. Um, I believe okay. all the Ryzen, G, or Ryzen CPUs that have a G uh, attached to them have integrated graphics. These don't. Um, all Intel mm -hmm. chips, from my understanding, have integrated graphics. So if you're running into an issue of not seeing an image come out after you built your computer, make sure that you're not using the HDMI port on the motherboard, but actually the HDMI port's coming out of your video card. So looks like Lexi got everything set up correctly. You got USB plugged in and we got the, yeah, the display port, uh, in the the display port plugged in. So we're good. Yeah. We're solid. We're good. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. Um, what should I Is do now? Turn in? the 
Everything's plugged in. Yep. Everything's plugged in. So there's a switch the... on the power supply. Uh, make sure the power supply is 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 a uh, is uh, switched on. Nice. Okay. Woo! Lights are come on. Lights came on. Oh really? Look. Show us! Show us! Show us! You can't see. Ah! It. Lights came on. Whee! Is that good? <laughs> yes, we did it. It's alive oh and God. breathing at least. Woo! Okay, some lights are on, which is good. Now the moment of truth is: is the power button going to work correctly that we routed, right, or not? Right. Oh my goodness! Should I press it? Here, back this up a little bit so we can see the monitor. All right. How's that? Moment of truth. Well, okay. Let's let's give it a go. Should I press the power button? What's up? Should I press the power button on the case? Are you ready is for that it? What we're doing? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Did it do anything? Mm, nope, nothing happened. I must have plugged it in wrong. Oh. But the lights are on inside. So I know that uh, someone's at home. Yeah, oh. it must be. I, I must have. Not anything happened? Nope. So that tiny little cable inside. Are you serious? That's the one thing. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you there? Don't drop out oh, no. of this important moment. Oh my goodness. One second. Can you hear me? Come back to me. I lost my audio. Uh-oh. All right. Well, all of his lost his audio. I can still hear you, though. I don't know if that, uh, that helps, but I can still hear you. Hold on. I am okay. plugging in. Coming back. My little helmet cam's on and ready. Okay. Oh, I can't believe that little tiny, um, that little tiny power supply to this button. It's literally just that because the lights are on everywhere else. Wow. Okay. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Are you back? No. I hear you. I, I can probably talk to you through my phone, but I probably don't sound great, do I? No, you sound okay for the time being. Yeah, I mean, you just got to wait for your okay? AirPods to charge up a little bit more. Yeah, I can still right. hear you fine. I'll okay. plug in my AirPods. Hold on, let me, put my, let me remount my camera. All right. Oh, sorry, guys. This oh, went on for so long. That little, my I can't believe it's those little tiny pins. Little tiny pins. Okay. So uh, at this point, Lexi, mm -hmm. um, I the would... lights are on though, which is a good sign. It's just literally that one button, right? We're assuming. Yeah. So before you, I wouldn't touch it while it's powered on. No, um, no, I'm going to turn would... turn everything off. Yeah. Turn everything off from the power supply, and if you're feeling uh -huh. really unsure, unsafe, even unplug it. Yeah, I will. One hundred percent. Safety first. Okay. All right, it's unplugged. So now I have to like work out the uh, troubleshooting portion, which is where does that little power supply plug go? So I think, so if I, if let, let's just get the power supply connect, or the uh, power button yeah. connected. I'm uh -huh. pretty sure it's supposed to be on the top right. On the top of, right. Ugh, this is really hard because the, the graphics I know the graphics card away. is now in there and blocking your way too. Oh, okay. All right. So power. Should I just unplug everything and start again? Why don't you unplug everything and we'll just connect power. How about that? Uh huh. Yeah, perfect. Unpl I'm sorry you can't quite see what I'm doing. The camera's not low enough. Can't get the tripod down far enough. It's okay. Don't worry um, about okay. it. Okay. Let me see. All right, so let's just do power first. So power SW, that's the one, right? Yep. Okay, now where did you say that needs to go? On the top right, I believe. Top right, okay. So you know how there are there are nine pins and then there's a little yep. extra pin on the bottom right? Uh-huh, yeah. So go up one and two yep. over to the left. So it should, it should go all the way up to the empty pin on the right yep. side. Yep, it does now. I don't know if you can 
Let me see if I can get that. Uh, let me if I take the phone off the tripod. I wish I, I took notes. I thought I took notes, but they didn't print out with my notes on how to. That's all right. Um, okay, can you see under here? Yeah, Maybe I can not. see it's enough. Very... <laughs> It's uh, it is tricky. All right, so I plug that in. So should I try and plug it in again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it's unbelievable. Everything is like, oh, and that tiny little, tiny little plug. Okay. Here we go. Round two. Round two. Okay. Plug in. And on. All right, lights are on. Three, two, one. Yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, I'm so excited. Woo! Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see. You can't see this angle, but the fan. Woohoo! So we got fan spin. The CPU going. cooler fan is spinning. Do we yeah. have the image? The image, uh, the keyboard's on. The keyboard's on. on. Where's, the, uh, where's the image? Good Hello. question. <laughs> Where is the image? Where are you? Where are you? I know the monitor did. Hey, okay. HDMI 2, no signal. Is it going to automatically select the display port? It should. Is there buttons for it? I've never used that monitor. so I have... Yeah, there are buttons here on the side, I think. I love this keyboard. This is awesome. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, there are buttons on the, on the side. Okay. Uh, well, no, that's not what I want. Gaming. No, that's not what I want. Switch the input. Hmm. Nope. Displayport. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I changed it to Displayport. Hmm. What is it doing anything? <gasps> nope. Jiggle the cables. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Reattached everything. Uh, uh, turn it off and turn it back on. All right. Yeah, because maybe the input didn't select automatically. Okay. Try again. Display port. Okay, so it said no signal that time, but I would have thought it would have said no signal if nothing was coming through. Right. So I think something is coming through, but. Let's see. Come on. Come on, buddy. We've come so far together. Let's turn on. Display port, no signal. Come on, buddy. Why are you Yes! Yes! Oh yes! my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. We did it. Oh, let me take the labels off so you can see. Reboot and select proper boot device. Is that what we should be seeing? uh yeah yeah uh we need to go into the bios so do you have the flash drive i gave you with the media I installation sure do. yeah i sure do do i need to okay. plug that in and then restart okay so i do have so i have windows on this guy um so should i plug this in the back yep yeah, so you wanna so uh just a note for anyone that has the windows media creation tool you want to plug that into mm -hmm. the motherboard and not um the front usb panels on the case okay uh just just to be sure you don't want to run into any issues so plug that in directly into the motherboard but that's not us today right no no we i mean the back part the back. you're going into the yeah. back part the back back cool. yeah but that's just a note in the back back that's just yes. a note for uh, everybody else. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Oh, USB A. Remember when there's only one way to do it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Drives me up the wall. 
Uh, okay. All right. So I plug that in now. Should I restart it? Just hold and power circle it yep. in. Yep. Yep. Restart okay. it. Here, I'm going to reframe this other cam. Give me one. Well, I could have just. It says press a key, but oh well. I guess I could have just pressed any key, right? <laughs> press any key. Cool. Yeah. This looks good. All right. I'm going to close up for you. Take a look. Do you mind uh, tilting the B camera up? Oh, wait, 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 hit delete, hit delete on the keyboard. Oh, you. Oh, delete. Ah. <laughs> oh, it booted you. You have to tell oh, me this God. stuff, man. You have to tell me. Windows. Oh no! Do I have to restart? <laughs> <laughs> totally skipping the bios. Hold on, we should go into the bios. Hold on, we should okay, we, we okay, should redo okay. this. Uh, first, do, okay. do me a favor. Um, do you mind tilting the B cam up a little bit? Yes, of course. It's all right. Like that? How's that? Yep, that's good. Okay, now would you want me to start it again? Restart it again? Let's start it again. Okay, because you want to see the bias. Okay, you got it. You had to give me some warning because I was just so excited that it started that I wasn't ready for it to, to hit delete. Um, okay. So basically, you have no I just idea need how to happy I am and how relieved I am. <laughs> I mean, okay, sure, so me too, on, seriously. Hit, hit the just, Hold down just delete. keep tapping the delete key. Yep. Yep. Tapping, tapping, tapping. Come on, BIOS, baby. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Quite therapeutic, actually. Do, do, Why do, is do, it do, not? Do, 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 do. I don't know. You tell me. Where's oh, did I, am I supposed to take out the Windows key? No, it should. You, you're supposed to be able to just boot straight into the, the BIOS. Mm. So just give it a rest for a second? Yeah, give it a rest. What, what happened? I don't know. It was, uh, it was great. And now it's, uh, now it's just, uh, is it the monitor? Did the monitor turn off? Mm, well, it, it had like the display port, no signal, and then it went blank again. This is bizarre. Try again. Let's do it again. <laughs> we'll do it again. I mean, that's the whole point. This is the whole learning process, right? I mean, we can just go in and straight and install Windows, right? But you want to check out the BIOS, make sure that everything is in there properly. Um, okay, am I going to get any warning before it goes to Windows? Display port, no signal. Okay, on. Uh, do I need to hit delete before it goes into it? Hey! Yay! Oh, right. there. Yay! Cool. Okay. Let's take it. Can you see the screen? Okay. Okay, cool. So I can see we have the two sticks of RAM there in A2 awesome. and B2. We have the Ryzen 5 6, core as a CPU. Uh, we, yeah, we have uh, the speed memory. We have the fans. We have three fans. That's correct, right? Yeah, so one should be the CPU fan and then the yep. two case CPU fans fan. on, the, on the front. Yeah, absolutely. CPU fan and two case fans there. Um, boot priority, so the SSD... Um, it's looking there first, right? And then the Samsung flash drive, which is what we have Windows on. Um, is that correct? That's number two. Should I change yep. the priority of that or just leave it? No, leave the priority. We'll just go straight. We can tell the BIOS to boot us straight to the flash drive and then Windows will do okay. its installation. And cool. then when it restarts, we'll go, like the motherboard will go straight to the SSD and we'll continue our Windows installation. Cool. Okay, um, so we have everything. It looks all good. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> God, Lexi, we, oh, did we did it. We did it. Yeah, this is awesome. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Excellent instructor. Thank you, instructor. It was great. <sighs> it was really good. Yay! <gasps> Breathe a sigh of relief. Our PC turns on and it works. Yay! I didn't screw okay. it up yet. <laughs> we did. So, uh, okay. so there's a way to. In the, in the BIOS, I actually didn't take notes on this, but there should be a way to uh, boot straight into the uh, into the flash drive. Uh, if I change the boot priority? I wouldn't change the priority, but I think you can no, just say, okay. like, boot into flash drive. Uh, can you see that on the screen? I'm taking the labels off of the screen for sure, so you can see it fully. I only see boot priority. I don't. Oh, boot menu F8. Okay, that's the one, right? Yep. Boot menu. Uh, that keyboard. You might have to hit. Do Alt I have to F8. shift? 
Alt? Okay, Alt F8, not Shift F8. Or, I mean, a function. No. There's function F8. Uh, mm, yes. Okay, I didn't, this keyboard's unfamiliar to me. Okay, um, cool. All right, so then a boot menu, and then we go down to the flash drive. Yep. That one, hit enter. Yep. Okay. Yay! And now we install Windows, right? Yep, and now we install Windows. Uh, cool. So let's see, what do I want to say here at this point? Um, so it, you need a, <laughs> so what we're doing is we're installing Windows off a of flash drive. Uh, which uh -huh. is from, uh, I believe it's called the Windows uh, Media Creation Tool. Um, Patrick Holland on the How to Do It All channel did a How to Upgrade to Windows 10 uh, a video. Ooh, okay, um, yeah. So if you go over there to that, um, in that same video, towards the middle, he actually creates a flash drive um, that you can install Windows on. Uh, mm -hmm. So just go watch that video on how to create a Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Yeah. Um, I'm don't, I don't have a product key, right? I'll skip this. Oh, yeah. So okay. product key, we're going to yeah. skip because we might take this PC apart. So just say I don't mm -hmm. have product key. Yeah. And then you want me to do Pro? Sure. Windows 10 Pro is fine. Okay. N, what's N mean? Let's not do N. Just do N. regular one. Okay. Regular. Regular, regular. All right. I, I need a drink of water after all this. Whew. Okay, yes, I accept the license terms. Yes, please read these um, at your leisure. Okay, uh, <laughs> upgrade or um, custom install? Custom? Right? Uh, or, sorry, what was the question upgrade. I was reading chat? So um, take a look at the screen. So I have an option to either do an upgrade, which I don't have Windows already on this, or custom, which is just install uh, Windows only. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, I'm just going to leave everything on the default, which is I want to install on drive zero. Okay. And now we wait. And now, now we, wait. we wait. And just so just so you know, Lexi, it's really hard to see the screen. Uh, oh, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's just the um, bitrate's yeah. just too low. It is. Well, I'll bring it a little closer, see if you can take a look. I don't know if that's any better. The bitrate is quite low, um, unfortunately. So my apologies. That's all my Wi-Fi is able to do right now. But there you go. Hopefully you can see. Oh. Oh, breathe a sigh of relief. Finish that coffee. You know, we did it. Yay! Chat we says keep it. the water away from the PC. <laughs> of course it's away from the PC. It's all the way over there. I'm thirsty. I've got a drink. Don't worry. I know I'm in the kitchen, but the water is definitely far away from the PC. That's why I'm stepping over here to drink it. Um, yeah, don't worry. I know that. <laughs> but thank you for pointing it out. That is a good point. Okay. Oh, okay, installing. Okay, um, I feel very, I feel very proud. So once we install Windows, uh, is the, now everything's up and running. So is the next step is to kind of like go through and do cable management and because now we know everything's working. Um, or we also should probably go in and plug the configuration of the other uh, lights and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, yeah, but that's, that's not the... like, yeah, but that, that is something we can do, I think, in our own time, right? Like, that's not the essential. Yeah, we the essential is turning that, right? it on, installing Windows, um, and then just maybe just a really quick walkthrough of how I would organize the cables and then just you know, put the case back together, right? Yeah, I think after we get Windows on, we can tidy up the cables and then close yeah. it up and call it a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. This is, uh, this is, this is good. I, I'm so proud. I mean... Apart from that little, uh, the little plug that didn't connect the case correctly, which was my bad. I didn't follow the instructions. And also it's really, they're really small because they, the writing is incredibly small on the motherboard. Like I can't read it without a magnifying glass or going up really close. Maybe that's just my yeah. eyesight's not very good anymore, but it would be better if it was like a little, I don't know, at least and put it in the manual, right? It's <laughs> not that in the manual. So every motherboard right? I've used has had it in the manual, like the full layout, <laughs> like HDD plus, HDD minus, yeah. LED plus, minus, reset plus, minus, <laughs> power plus, minus. So when I was taking oh notes goodness. for this, I looked through the the manual and I was just like, it it doesn't say, like it says, this is where you plug in your front power connector in this area. Yeah. And I'm like, that that's it? You're not gonna tell me like what they do? <laughs> I mean, it is labeled on on the motherboard. It is just, it is. there's so yeah, much, it is. There's, there's so much, so much text. And it's so, so to... small. Yeah. Yeah. 
but I mean, I don't know, maybe there's like, maybe if you're watching this at home and you have like a really surefire way of plugging that in, like, let us know um, if maybe there's like a good online guide, that would be really useful because if it's not in the manual, I don't know where else to look. Like, I mean, if you weren't here helping me, if you hadn't like worked out which slot it should go in, I would still be sitting here just plugging in and going, whoop, nope, nope, whoop, nope. But, well, you know, it, the fact that that was really the only thing that kind of was a bit of a difficulty was actually pretty impressive. But like, your instructions are spot on, man. Spot on. Thank you. And uh, I do want to say that I, I, other motherboards that I've seen actually have like an extra connector on it that uh, you can plug those in first before plugging it into the motherboard. So it's mm -hmm. like a little extra attachment. Uh, connector thing. Okay. So those exist uh, for ease of use. Um, but honestly, other motherboards, other Asus motherboards themselves uh, actually label each pin. Uh, I don't know why okay. this one did it. Maybe that's why it's 85 bucks or 80 bucks. You Maybe. Know? Maybe Look, I mean, <laughs> you got to make some sacrifices for price, right? And yeah. I guess that's a small, a fairly small one to make. Because like, overall, I was pretty impressed by, I mean, you know, it was not that difficult in terms of you know where everything goes because everything is labeled really well apart from those little tiny ports but everything was labeled really well and um you know everything fit in perfectly i didn't really have any trouble uh yeah everything's spinning i'm just like so proud looking at my handiwork like it's like maybe the next step is we add leds yeah i mean we can totally do that we want to like make the case like really next level um, where would we, where, does this case support LEDs? Where would we do that? Uh, they sell like magnetic LED strips that you can make any case LED. Oh, so you can just like put it on the inside and stuff? Because this one has a window, yeah. right? So you can see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, yeah, I, I don't need that like next level. So when when we were in the office, you built this, um, this really cool PC, which is the one we're referencing, the gaming PC for our colleague of ours. And it looks amazing. It's the disco PC, honestly. So um, a little overkill for what I need, but it looks really cool. Okay. Showing it, booting up again, the Windows installation process. Um, I have a question cool. from YouTube while this while this works. Uh, we have some time. Tate yeah, Stokas, we have some time. Uh, is just asking what setup are we using to live stream, uh, to switch the live stream? We're using vMix Great question. Uh, software. <laughs> Uh, and uh, a pretty powerful PC to run that stream. I uh, got a Ryzen yeah. 9 3950X in it and like a 2080 Ti uh, to run the stream right now. Uh, plus also we have like fiber or a one gig internet, Lexi and I do. Um, yeah, shout out to Sonic, do. not sponsored, but love Sonic. Yeah, um, love. I'm gonna skip the, the ethernet stage because uh, the cable's somewhere else. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. That's just to update drivers and stuff, but we're, yeah, you yeah. know, if, if you're at home, plug it in, um, you know, Microsoft is going to ask you a lot of questions, you yeah. know, agree it or is. disagree to whatever kind of stuff they're looking for. Yeah. Um, that's up to you and how comfortable you are with your privacy. Simple as that. Uh, password. Oh, don't look as I type my password in. <laughs> oh, just put any password. You could do like live stream oh. or whatever. It doesn't... Oh, okay. Well, uh, you know, security. Security. Oh, it's all right. You can't see it. So, well, maybe you can, but it's not like. Security question. Oh, do really? I have to do security questions? Oh, uh, yeah, you do, oh, but goodness. you know, just whatever. Um, I'm not really. This is not. But now the thing is, I have to remember. My pet's first name was Dog. My childhood nickname was Dog. <laughs> dog is gonna be Dog. <laughs> <laughs> so we had easily. Had it. Whereas the first name of your oldest cousin. No, no. Uh, Cool. My first attendance dog. There you go. Look, that's how we're going to remember it. So, FYI, it will live on. Um, okay, activity history. No. Uh, decline. I don't want Cortana yet. I'm just going to do the bare bones. Um, I'm just going to turn off all of these advertising IDs, diagnostics, tailored experiences. I don't want any of those. So, all right. Hi. Hello. It's Windows. Getting everything ready for you. Yay! Well, this is we exciting. This is really cool. We did um, it. We did it. Yeah! We did it. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, massive shout out. So, the question that you had about switching live, 
massive shout outs to you, Oliver, because you are switching simultaneously and instructing, which and you know being able to talk coherently. So um, mad props to you. You're doing an excellent job. Thank you for being the best teacher I could have asked for, because Thank this you. is like pretty seamless, right? Pretty seamless, apart from the little pluggy thing, but that's fine. We did it. Is that like happy dance? We did it. We did there's, it. There's there's a challenge in the in the chat. They want to know, do you think you could build one on your own next time? Uh yeah, I mean, I definitely you know what? I think I could do it if you spec'd it out for me and you made sure that all the components were compatible and that they would all fit in the case that I chose. I think I would be confident to do it. But I would love like I would want someone that has the expertise and the know-how in terms of like what components work best. To, to spec it out and then I would be able to put it together. I think so, because I don't think there'd be that much variance based on what we did. It's really the, I think the variance is gonna be like the order of installation and the, the case configuration and like fans and stuff. Is that correct? Yeah. Am I barking up the right tree with that? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think yes, in, in response, yes, I think I, I definitely feel much more empowered, much more confident to build my own PC without the assistance going forward. So. That this was yeah very instructional for me and hopefully entertaining for you guys so yeah all right we're in windows we're in windows all right done so we gonna have lunch now <laughs> rad let's finish up let's rad. okay so booted right. into windows i think we're gonna call it here windows is in we're not gonna install any in. games or anything no 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 we, it's we can see that windows is working it's two o'clock we're doing like four hours. hours yeah oh so it's been it's been a tough uh like it hasn't been a slog it's been it's been like a challenge but it's been really fun it's been really really fun and thank you for watching and supporting us um we really appreciate it and we hope you're staying safe and uh yeah safe and well and if you have any questions for us you can like oh wait no, no, no. Wait, we're not um, rapping yet Hold why on. not <laughs> we got a cable kidding. manage you can't just leave the stream no, we're so close just... we're so I'm close just kidding. i'm just kidding okay all right cable management time you thought right, I was like, being off. cheeky there. Turn it off. I was being cheeky there, seeing if I get away with leaving. Um, okay. Uh, okay, shut down. Turn everything off. Turn off the power supply to the case. Are we all off? Are we all off? Yep, okay. All right. Just to be safe, I'm gonna unplug everything. Okay, cool. All right, cable management. Cable management, all right. Let's see, what are we working with here? Hello. All right. So. Okay. Oh, where did you go? To, oh, <laughs> sorry, I was reading chat and uh, drinking water. So let's uh, let's fine. turn it around uh, to the back side, side back. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna unplug everything at the yep. back as well, just to make it a little easier. Yep. Okay. There's also a peel. You have to do a peel still too of the acrylic side panel oh yeah that's the asmr yay we do get some asmr in this okay cool turn it around to the back here we go all right so all we're right. a little close back we might pulling bit. us back a bit yeah yeah how's that okay that looks Finding good the boxes in the background that's all the pc boxes. <laughs> okay all right so that cable looks a little messy it does, uh, it's very messy. I'm, yeah. I'm like feeling anxious about this right now. So I'm eating cables. So let's, um, so where those, uh, where the, let's see how to explain this. So right in the middle of the case where the cables are running, sort of like where most of them are, are gathered. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start like towards how? the top. Are there, there should be some holes in this case that you can uh, tie a zip tie around the cables and run through the, like uh, no, here. not those. They're, they're more on the, toward your, towards your right. There should be like little loops. Nope, to the left. Like and, these guys. Uh, no, That's further down. In the case, no. Uh, oh, right, oh right. I see. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, so you can yeah, this yeah, yeah. one, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That. So those are Got it. so those are points. I think I believe there's one up above too, and one below. Yeah, there is. On that yes, same yes, line. okay. Yes, there is right right up here. I'm pointing to it. Now. Yeah. So okay. you want to just gather your cables and and take your zip mm -hmm. tie and just tie your cables uh, together through that. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, is there any order? Like, should I do all of them at once or should I separate them? You, I would just, for this case, I'd just do them all at once if you can get it okay. all to fit. Well, not the chunky cable. Oops. Oh, you have to, you have to cable manage the chunky cable. Sure. Yeah, I will, but I mean, not in this, not in this. House, oh, no, 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 right? no, not in this. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah. No. I was like, I will, don't worry. It's happening. Um, oh, except this side. Maybe I'll do it from this side. That's probably a little easier. It's kind of good that it has like these um, nodules for it. Did it go? I think it went under the. No, I know. I'm trying to. It's because it's like the angle is it's trying to. Come on, buddy. He's watching me struggle with a zip tie. How exciting. Why is this the hardest part now? And now it's gone underneath it. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We've come so far. Yes, okay. All right. So now these guys go in. Yeah. You know what I was saying before about not having that much dexterity? Yeah, this is why I can't be a Ugh. surgeon. That's why I can't be a surgeon. Okay. Um, is is it... that good enough? No. I don't want to tighten it too much. <laughs> is that good enough? No, it's not. <laughs> is it not uh, pulling through the... It is. No, it is. But how tight, should, how taut should I make it? Uh, it should be pretty tight. Pretty taut. Okay. So slippery and it's so hot in this room. Whew. Hot in the kitchen. Oh, I bet you that's the AMD chip. <laughs> oh, I bet you. Any money. That is uh, AMD. Okay. All oh right, I think that's I'm, good. I'm if sweat, I'm home, like, you know why? You I can't a... I can't get the, the grip. That's okay. Oh, there, there we, we go. Can, we I'm can... using the nail. There we go. Okay. okay. Okay, got it. Now, with the end, should I trim that, or are we good just leaving it? You can cut it off uh, if you okay. have scissors nearby. I do, yeah, I do. I was just checking. I don't know what side, because it's the first time I've properly cable managed. There we go. Okay. So that. Uh, now the other one. So this is just gathering, right? Yep, we're just gathering all these cables um, and just keeping it nice and tidy. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you want, you can tug in all the cables from the front side so all the slack is on the back and hidden. So you have a nice, especially because we have an acrylic window, a nice front facing PC. Oh, I see. Yeah. So but... You can have all the nasty stuff in the back. <laughs> okay. Oh, it arrived. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all right, Lexi, take thing. it apart. Let's put it in. Take it all apart, everybody. Oh, it's literally okay. Whoop. These are in hot. They're hot demand. These these guys because there's no box. It's just a. Uh, there you go. Oh, I got two. Nope, nope. One's a 3300x and one's a 3100. Okay. There you go. So that's what we were going to use, but it arrived oh, four hours after we needed it. It arrived okay. just at the end. It's all right. No, it's think... okay because like we can we can do another stream at another time. Sure. If we want. And again, for gaming, I definitely recommend the thirty three hundred X. Like the sixteen hundred yes. is a fine chip, but it is a couple of generations old, mm -hmm. and it doesn't clock as fast for gaming. So okay. if you're doing gaming, totally go for the thirty three hundred X. If you're going to do light video editing, you might stream and game at the same time. I would get the extra mm -hmm. cores, um, the extra two cores, and go for the 1600. Extra. But honestly, cores. I mean, okay. I've I, it would be in it would be insane on like I don't know 20 years ago paying 85 bucks or 100 bucks for like yeah, a killer season right? Like you know, like last time I built a you know a PC, well, paying that little would have been like what the heck is wrong with this cpu right <laughs> you know? yeah like this can't be right this would be second hand um okay so these bottom ones it's a little bit more difficult to cable manage these in a nice way 
Yeah, like I said, I, I when I did it, I tried to tuck it as much under the the um, the drive caddy as much as possible. Yeah, I kind of I did with the extra extra cable. It's just um, these you, guys. For the, uh, for some of them, you might have to push them back towards the power supply, back into yeah. the original hole. That's I think that's what I'm going to do for these yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, yes, I think for... that's going to be much easier. Okay. John Klingman. We, we, we posted, we got into Windows, we got Windows installed. So yeah, now we're just cable managing and just wrapping up the build. Yep. Okay, so you think I should zip tie the bottom ones as well? What would you do? Except I don't, uh, I don't like how this is this one's caught up though. But I've, I've, looks... I've wrapped everything underneath. What do you think of that? That's fine, should I, I should I... Only, only <laughs> you in the stream. It. No one else will see so, it. So, okay, so no one's going to judge me for not tying this bottom part. Okay. Well, you heard it here first. I was told I didn't need to, so there you go. But I think it looks, yeah, it looks okay. I mean, if I had more time um, and I really wanted to get really precise about it, I would probably spend a bit more time, obviously. But I think for now that's okay, right? Yep. Okay, now should I get the get the case? The side? Yeah, let's put the cape. Let's put the the, yeah. the back panel on. Okay. Uh, let's the see. Solid uh, one, right? Umami, Umami Yang. Um, I really. Uh, they're talking about missing a fan case on the back. I actually totally agree. We don't have one, um, but for the budget, we decided not to add an extra fan on the back. Um, you could you could you could close up the case, Lexi. It's fine. Yeah. Um, All right. If you had the extra cash, totally buy that extra fan because it'll make a, a, a difference in performance and, and thermals specifically. Um, and putting an exhaust fan on the back of the case, either pointing up or to the back of uh, out of the out of the case, for sure. Mm -hmm. This is the ch I've always I've always struggled with putting the uh, case back. On. So um, you know what? I'm going to lay it flat. That's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? That will be easier for me. Move everything. Delicate components everywhere. Okay. There we go. I just couldn't get there the angle right. Down. While uh, while you I mean, have it here, I want to talk about uh, the dust filter that you see on the bottom. Uh huh. Yeah. Give me a second. I'll screw it up and then I'll I'll pivot it so you can. Yeah. See. Okay. Which uh on the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. This guy. So that so that guy right there, I recommend cleaning that like every couple of months, depending on how uh, how much dust you have in your home. Um, uh -huh. you, that's a that filter is there to keep dust from coming into uh, your your machine. So yes, and you, you nice little dust filter on the bottom. I believe yeah. there's one on the front as well where all the fans are at. So uh, yeah, let me pivot it around. And I know there's one on the top as well. That one's like there is one on the top. Yeah, there is one. Okay. All right. Thanks for leaving the plastic for me, so I have the uh, the beautiful the the pleasure experience of uh, the pleasure the of the peeling peel. it off. Yeah. All right, this one's easier to put on this side. I don't know why the other one, I think it's the cables. Okay. Wait, is there plastic on the inside? Oh, that's a good question. I didn't check the inside. Yes, there is. Thank you for catching that. <gasps> yeah. Oh, oops, I missed it. <laughs> oops, I missed the inside plastic cover. It's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Well, you know, we caught it before I put it on completely. So we're fine. Um, there you go. What a beauty. Lexi's first PC. All right, ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pull uh, pull out the B camera a little bit because we can't see oh, the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I really need fingernails to get on this part. Ready? Nice. 
Oh yeah, that feels so satisfying. Oh my goodness, that's very nice. Look at that. We did it. We did, we did it. it. We did it. First PC build on a live stream. And there's extra plastic too that we can peel off when we feel like it. But... Oh yeah, there's like little plastic around the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> satisfying. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. There is our PC. It works. It turns on. If you just joined us, we've already installed Windows and uh, yeah, it's all looking really good. We did it. We did it. Virtual high five. Virtual high five. High five. Yeah. Yay! Yes. Amazing. Amazing. We did it. Well done. I'm very oh. proud of both of us. Um, it works. Yay. Okay. So that's pretty much it, right? We've built our we built our PC on a live stream. It only took us four hours. <laughs> <laughs> four hours, but we got it done. And uh, we got it it's done. A, I think it's it a worked. thorough enough video that someone can go back and watch it too. So yeah, I, I mean, we're... hopefully when you watch it, like if you want to follow along with us, you'll probably do it a little faster. We were just going through. I was being very methodical, hopefully, with everything. Um, answering questions along the way, so. Yeah, if you if you build along with us, let us know. Show us photos of what you what you build. Um, your first PC, or if you're an experienced PC builder, show us. We'd love to love to see what you come up with. Um, thank you, Oliver, for not only switching, producing, walking me through this, but also specking this out and putting together all the components for me and delivering it. So um, it was a much less intimidating process than I was expecting. So thank you so much. It was really fun. And thank you for being so patient, you know, throughout all this. I know we dumped like your your operating cameras. You are trying to build <laughs> your first PC in a long time. Like all the tests Stress. we had to do to make sure this worked. It was a lot of time. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for giving but, um, it to me to do this. No, thank you. This has been so much fun. And thank you to watching for for watching. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with us if you've just dropped in, or if you've been watching all the way through. We really appreciate it. Um, we hope you stay safe. And stay well and hope this is a fun project that uh you can either watch again or maybe dig into with a friend or a family member who wants to build the first pc but they're like like me they're a little intimidated they didn't know where to start so maybe you can use this as a guide and yeah it just shows you everything that hopefully you'll need to know but again you know it's going to vary so much based on what components you choose and uh, the case and the level of experience of the person that's building it and of course for you as well but Hopefully this is a really good start and just some fun just to, you know, change the mood a little bit in the current situation. But thank you again for watching. Stay safe and we'll catch you again on another CNET live stream. All right. See you guys later. Bye. See you guys.